Welcome to week eight of Reading Freshman Football right here. Brian, unbelievable day. We're out here at Melrose. Hey, it's a battle of unbeatens here today. Melrose is 6-0-1, I was told. Talked with some of their uh, the family members before the game. They've only had a single common opponent, which was Winchester. They said it was a pretty tight game, as was ours. And so this is going to be a big, big deal. They got some big boys on this team, but not a whole lot of them. I counted about 20 or 21 of them. I'm looking at a couple of these kids, though. They, they're, they're all about six foot three, right across the top. So yeah. very, very good team here. It's going to be a big test here for the Rockets uh, with uh, in week number eight, 7-0 Rockets versus 6-0-1 Melrose upcoming. All right, Foxy set here to kick off. We got two guys back deep. I tell you, I'm looking at this, like I said, Brian, there's only six extra guys on the sideline from Melrose, but every about half of these kids look like they're about six foot three. Yeah, some big boys. And here we go. Nice kick by Fox. He goes to 81. That's one of the skilled player guys. Oh, he comes in with a big, huge hit. And I think it's Neff Gatchel. Takes an extra five yards here. That's a very big kid, number 81. He takes it back, and it's going to be first and 10 from right around the 45-yard line. All right, first and 10 here from Melrose from the 45-yard line. From what I'm told, they run a very similar offense to Reddings. The two backs, they like to hand up underneath. They do that time. Nice tackle right there as Damari comes in and closes it for a short yard. A couple big guys on that line, so I'm pushing them back. Oki, but Oki's going to have to do better than that to get through. But uh, Danny Damari comes in from the left side. I'd like to see that. You usually see him from the middle linebacker position. He's perfectly placed there. When they figure out Damari's on the left, on that right side of them, they're going to start going the other way. we got three guys split left now. It's going to be a keeper up the middle. He gets met, still on his feet, and overcomes. Darmy's underneath and Lynchy on top. So nice job there. They throw two guys on Oki, but Darmy's right there. Larry Lorenz are under there too. So it's going to be third and seven upcoming. Here we go, third and seven. Very big play here early on. Pass across the middle. He pulls it down. He's going to get out. Oh, he's got him from behind. Nice job. Pulls him down. Number 67, Jay Kajander. Beautiful play by Jay. Gets his hands on him and will not let him pull back. So the Rockets do a great job here in the first three sticks here. And they're going to have to kick it away. Back deep. I think for the first time this year in a punt return. Number 81, the guy will field that ball. He kicks it here. It's a good kick. I think they're going to say, let it go, though. Get away from it, right? Oh, he should have let it go. He could have got a few more yards out of it. Number 34, he tops on it. And Rockets are going to take over here. First and 10 from the 28. Brian, before I go, I just needed to send a little shout-out down to Florida. Ben Ferrante's grandparents are living down in the villages there, like, like Jerry Seinfeld's parents. Really? Yeah. Now they said they get the they get a beam down there to Florida, and uh, it's more it's actually um, it's actually uh, our ratings are actually higher than Judge Judy's, oh, which wow. is incredible when Excellent. you're uh, when you're in a uh, senior housing uh, unit. Yeah, yeah. All right, here we go. So cheers down to Florida. There we got right here. We got Flanagan uh, flanking Perez at quarterback. This one's a handoff to Kyle. Gets around the outside. Cuts up, and he gets just a couple of yards here. A little stutter step. I'd like to see a little more north to south there, but uh, first play we get about two, two and a half. Break the huddle. Split right. Derek Van Horn. I think it's James Nefgaccio. I don't have my sheet in front of me. I should know all these names now, except there's just 40 guys here. That's a keeper for Perez. Cuts up. Still on his feet, so he drives it over the 30-yard line. Gets pushed back. He should be... Just to the 31 here, and it's going to be a third and five upcoming. Okay, third and just over five here. Two guys split left and right with Kyle Flanagan flanking Perez. In motion is Van Horn. This one's going to go to Derek, and the ball's fumbled. He's going to pounce on it. I think Melrose gets it. The exchange is muffed. Ball drops. And Melrose pounces on it. Huge turnover for the Rockets right here. And Melrose is going to start first and 10 with unbelievable field position at the Rocket 28-yard line. All right, here we go. First and 10 here 
from Melrose after the turnover. This one's going to be inside handoff, number 34. Oh, what a play by Damari. Beautiful play right there. He had a big thing, and Danny closed it. That's the Damari we saw in the first two games of the season. Beautiful play by Dan right there. And I think they're I think they're moving Damari left and right based upon the offense. Second and nine upcoming here. They're number 34 flanking the quarterback. In motions right here. This time they hand off to 81. He's got some room and a blocker ahead of him. He's got to come in there. He's got put steps out of bounds right there. It was Ferrante with the push out, but not before he's very close to that first down. He may have it. He does have the first down. And it's going to be first and 10 from about the Rocket 14-yard line upcoming. The sun is tough on us here, Brian, so it's yeah. tough, for, tough for us to see. I'm sure the camera's fine, but nonetheless, tough one here early. Well set up play there, good blocking. In motion 33, this one's a keeper for number 12. He tries to go up, he gets hit, oh wow! He goes head to head with Damari, quarterback versus quarterback, and drives him for a couple of yards inside the 10. So it's gonna be second, and uh, I say second and goal, it wasn't uh, in goal, it's second at about five. They get right back into the huddle here. No huddle, as it, as it were. Same exact play up the middle. This time he gets stacked up immediately. Oh, he's still on his feet, though. They, oh, they blew the whistle. So Larry Lorenz is in there. Lynch, he pushed him. They blew the whistle. He didn't quite go down, but they stopped him on forward progress. I think that was probably an okay whistle. They had him stacked up for quite some time. Blew the whistle, so they lose some yardage on that one. It's going to be third and seven upcoming. Clear four down territory here, though, Brian. It's third and seven, probably third and about ten to get in the end zone. This one's a keeper right. Oh, looks like a hold right there on DiCrescenzo. Lynchy comes over and rips him down, but Tommy DiCrescenzo got pulled down from behind on that when he comes through. I'm looking right at it here. We'll like to look at that one on tape. Looking for a yellow flag right there. DiCrescenzo gets pulled down from behind. Actually, beats this guy cleanly, but he drives it to about four yards or so. It's going to be fourth and one for the first down, fourth and five for the touchdown. Huge play here. Rockets need to get a pushback here. And now we have, looks like a timeout called. So I think it's timeout. I don't know which side called it, but nonetheless, huge play upcoming. More issues here, Brian. It's a keeper right now up the middle. Oh, he gets hit by Lynchy, but he gets in. Bounces off Lynchy. He's mad at himself, but he had good blocking up front, and the quarterback takes it in for the score. So Rockets pay dearly for the fumble. Give Melrose a very short field, and they take the lead here, 6-0. He's setting it up for a kick here. Melrose setting up for a kick, going for one versus what would be two. Puts it up, and it goes. <laughs> I don't see anybody back there, but I think it's good. Any signals there, Brian? I don't know. The guy said it was good, but. All right, so I didn't see anyone in the back there, but nonetheless, it looks like it's good there, and uh, Melrose takes a 7-0 lead here early in the first after they uh, capitalize on the, on the Rocket turnover. All right, here we go. It looks like Mike DiPietro and, and uh, Derek Van Horn back. This one's going to go to Van Horn. He drops the ball there, picks it up, and then he goes down. So Smartly just grabs the ball. Derek had trouble uh, handling that one. Rockets are going to take over first and 10 from just over their own 25. In comes the Damari unit for this uh, series. All right, here we go. First down is Danny Damari following some blockers. Danny's still in. Oh, the ball's on the ground again, and Jay Kajander picks it up. So first play from scrimmage, Damari gets in a scrum and, and drops the ball. Wow, the Rockets not so short-handed early in this game, and it's almost cost them twice there. Can't do that against a team uh, who's 6-0-1, right? Yeah. So it's going to be second and 11 up here. Damari comes in with a play. 
He's got Thornton and Fleming flanking him. At Conroy out right, DiNapoli out right. 89, Evan Tice. This one's a handoff right up the gut to Thornton. He's got some room. Got to hold on to that ball. He drives it very close to the first down. I think they're going to give it to him. So that's a first down. Nice run by Trevor there to give himself a little bit of breathing room. All right, here we go, first and 10 here. This one uh, goes to Fleming on the other side. Big hole. Lucas cuts back. He's still on his feet. Gets pulled down at the end. Huge run for Lucas right there, about 20 yards into uh, Melrose territory here. So Rockets got some things moving here on the first two plays by their two big backs, 34, now 44. And it's going to be first and 10 here from the Melrose 46. <laughs> Looks like that spot is awful. He, he got tackled over the 45-yard line, yeah, Brian. Yeah. Unless I'm seeing some, seeing things. He had about three more yards in that play. I could be wrong, but I'm usually not, right, Brian? Exactly. All right, here we go. This one's Damari. It's going to go Thornton left now, and he gets Matt right up the middle. Two guys in there, easy. So stop for a loss there. Need a little bit bigger push from that offensive line there. All right, here we go. Second and call a 12 here after the pushback. In motion right now is, uh, oh, it's uh, DiNapoli. It's going to be a keeper here for uh, Thornton. And he gets met pretty quickly after a gain of about three or four. So it's going to be third and call it 10 upcoming. All right, here we are. Big play right here for the Rockets. Third and just under 10. This is Damari. He's going to look to throw it. Throws across the middle. Oh, big play. Wow, great job by DiNapoli to hold on to that one. He gains about seven on the play. And, and Adam takes a stick but holds on to it. Wow. Great play by Adam. But he took a hard hit there. And that's a great play just to hold on to. That's a big gain right there. So that's going to make a big difference. Fourth and two versus fourth and eight. You're going to see the Rockets go for it here. Here we go. Fourth and call it just over three. And we got a timeout here. Timeout is on Melrose right now. They didn't like what they saw, so we'll take a few minutes here and come back for this fourth down. Here we go, fourth down here. I tell you, this Melrose freshman team has some huge guys across that line. Probably the biggest we've seen all year. Definitely. This one, Nortel, is going to be handoff to Jaheim, and he gets caught up. Oh, nice job. He breaks it off. He's still on his feet. Wow, great run by Nortelis. Finally gets ripped down, and it looked like he had nothing there. They had good penetration, and Nortelis rips it off for about... 10 yards to about the 31-yard line. So big run for Jaheim. He looked a little tentative there. And now what do we got here? We got a call? Oh, it's at the end of the quarter maybe. So big, big play right there. Did they get that play off? I think they did, right? So nonetheless, great play by Jaheim to turn nothing into something. And that's a huge first down for Redick. All right, first down right there. Damari. First day of the second half. This one goes to Thornton. Oh, he's still on his feet, and Trevor takes it for about five. Thank you very much. I guess got handed the roster by um, Nicole Cronin over here. She just wants to get her name called on TV, and then she calls all of her friends and says, I was on TV. Right? So. <laughs> all right, here we, <laughs> here we are at second and just over seven here. I've seen a couple of spots here, Brian, that I don't like, at least for Redding side. This one's a keeper for Damari. Oh, boy, I tell you, great job going through it. Very, very, really. Go down, call the whistle. No. This is exactly what we talked about. But nonetheless, I, I, very rarely do you see a guy like Lucas Fleming get uh, pushed back on a block, but Damari takes it for what's going to be a first down. Yeah. You got to call it. This is what we talked about earlier, Brian, right? When you get stacked up like that, I don't know what these guys are waiting for to call the whistle. You try to go down, and they try to rip it out of there. So nonetheless, you know, lesson for the other backs here, too. If we get stacked up, you get that first down, let it go, right? Yep. Get the first down, get on your knee. All right, nonetheless here, it's going to be first and 10 from about the 14-yard line. Rockets moving the ball very well on this series. 
This one's Damari. This one goes up to Thornton. He's got a big hole. He cuts back. And Trevor's still on his feet and drives it down inside the five. So that's going to be very close to another first down. It's going to be first and goal here. They might call it second and maybe one. So he's right at the five-yard line. Call it second and a foot for a first down, five yards for a touchdown. Big, tough runs here for uh, Thornton and Fleming early in the game. And Damari, this one goes to this. Oh, the ball goes down. I think Redding got it. Wow. The ball gets muffed on the snap there, and Danny Damari pounced on it. Number 81 was right there, and Damari went in and pulled it away from him. So a huge play right there to hold on to that ball. Tell you, Rockets got to get more shorthanded here. Very big game with two undefeated teams, and we need to hold on to the ball a little bit better. So fortunate to hold on to it. It's going to be third and now five for the first down, ten for a touchdown. Clear four-down territory here, though, Brian. Oh, yeah. We got Thornton left, Fleming right. In motions, Nortellis. They got to fake it there. They swing it out to Trevor. Wow, good job. Oh, he's still on his feet. Good job by number 33. He was right in there, and it didn't fool him. Trevor shakes him off. He gets pulled down by another guy, but he's going to be very close here now. It's going to be about fourth and one and a half, two for the, uh, for the first down. Clearly, they're going to go for it here, but this is a huge play. They need two. Oftentimes, if you need that, you call in number 34, or you have a number 11 follow a number 34 somewhere. Right up the middle. This time, Thornton's on the right. In motions, Nortellis. He's back to throw. Oh, boy. He's got to throw it over the middle, and he gets stopped. Number 12, the quarterback knocks it down, and the Rockets are going to turn it over on downs. So they try a play right over the middle. Comes right in the middle. No one was on him. Number 12, he jumps up and blocks the pass, and the Rockets are going to turn it over here. The only saving grace here is they're very, very deep in Melrose territory, but the Rockets had an excellent drive there, stalled by a fumble, which actually they recovered that's pushed it back. And then a fourth down play that gets knocked down, batted down over the front. First and 10 here from Melrose. Leading 7 0. A few minutes into the second quarter here. Right up the gut here. Larry Lorenzo's on him and rips him down himself. Adam Deemer's in there too, so nice job by Larry. All right, here we go. Second down, and call it eight here. Number 34, four, flank and 12. In motion, 33. He's going to swing out. He's going to look to throw the ball here. He's got a guy, number four, it's wide open. There's Trev Conroy who pushes him out right around the 18-yard line, but that's going to be a first down. So he had two guys to throw to. Number four is open. Number 81 was open, too. So good-looking pass and catch. First down, Melrose, and they get some breathing room now. Get out of that hole deep in... Uh, their own territory. 100%. There we go. All right, first and 10 here. Melrose just inside the 20. This time he's in motion. It's going to be 34 up the middle. Right there. Oh, he gets past De Crescenzo. He drags a couple of guys. So nice job to turn nothing into something for uh, number 30, uh, 34 in there. Like you said, very similar looking offense with these um, off tackle left and right guys in motion. This one's going to be right up the gut. We see that play. Oh, this could jander. And right in comes Damari behind him. Beautiful job. He, I, I tell you, tough runner here, 34. He breaks off that first tackle. He looks a lot like our running backs. And then Damari came in and cleaned him up. So that's a pushback right there. And it's a third down play, and it's a big one. Jay had him. He broke off a of Jay, and Damari came in and picked him up. That's the Danny Damari we've seen all year long. I don't know where he was lined up there because they have him on the outside. Damari's made a couple of big plays here early defensively. He's going to go back. He's going to roll out to pass here. He's got 33 open. He throws it very long here. Up. Oh, my gosh, he catches it, but I think he's out of bounds. Wow. Great coverage back there. 
was Ferrante and Perez heaves it up. The guy pulls it down, but he pulls it down out of bounds. It's going to be fourth down here. So nice job there by the Rockets. Great playing catch. We're lucky they ran out of real estate. So fourth down play here. The Rockets are going to get the ball back. So very, very well, well, uh, evenly matched game here, Brian. If not for the uh, the early fumble in the short field, uh, these guys are trading counter punches right now. So we're getting Nortellis back. It's a high snap. They got to get on him here. Oh, Darby DiCenzo was right in the stay away from it. Wow, he was very fortunate to get that one away. Darby got right in. It's a very high sort of looping snap. Darby could have went in and crushed him there. He just missed the ball. And he gets a huge kick out of it to get it into Rocket territory. So very, very fortunate for the uh, Melrose punter to get that one away. But nonetheless, he does, and he, and he clears about 50 yards of real estate for him. And the Rockets are going to take over here first and 10 from their own 41. The Rockets. Damari unit out back out there. This one's going to be a handoff to uh, Trevor up the middle. He spins off, still on his feet. Trevor cuts outside, just gets tripped up. So Trevor takes it. He had a little bit of real estate and nice spin move by Thornton, and he takes it for about six. That, was, that looked like he was going to be stopped close to the line of scrimmage, and he turns it for six, six and a half right there. So nice run by Thornton. As usual, another tough one. All right, here we go. Damari in motion is Denapoli this time. This one's going to be Damari right? Thornton up the middle. Cuts back. Oh, Trevor just drives three guys. Hits number two, picks him up, carries him, and two other guys have to hop on him. And he said, hey, guys, I'm taking you guys for a first down right now. Mm. Beautiful play by Trevor. And they are in Melrose territory now from the 44, first and 10. They try to do a hike right here, and they could have an extra man on the field. It's a keeper for Damari now. He cuts back up. Nice job looking for his blockers. Danny's still at his feet. Oh, beautiful run right there for Danny. Takes it for about 15, make it 17 yards. Danny is about, he looks right. He sees all sorts of green, decides to follow his blockers instead. Once again, has the instincts to do it, and has a great run there. So Damari rips one off for a big gainer right there, and it's going to be another new set of sticks inside the 30. Tell you, we got some guys from uh, from Melrose hobbling off here. They only have 21 players on the on the field, on the team. This one goes right up the gut to Thornton. Gets met by uh, their quarterback number 12, but he takes it for a rough and tough five. That's the play I might might have liked to see around the goal line, Brian. Just yep. give Thornton the ball and let him hit three people. Nonetheless, another first down gain of more than five for Trevor. Got to be getting close to half. Yeah, we got to listen for a time check here. This one's Damari. He's back to pass here. Oh, he's going to get hit. He lost it up. He's wide open over there. It's Denapoli, and he's in. Wow. I'll tell you, Danny Damari just missed getting licked there. Gets the ball off, and Adam Denapoli, there is absolutely no one on him, and they go in for the score. Beautifully set up play, and very fortunate that uh, that Damari got it away when he did. There was, there was a defender closing on him, throws a beautiful pass to Denapoli. I think I could have caught that one and went in, Brian. Oh, yeah, Are you definitely. kidding me? Yeah. Wide open, great route, great looking uh, pass play. And that those are the types of plays that keep you off balance on now. You know, you've seen the ground and pound of Thornton and Fleming. Then you throw up a pass play like that, they don't know what to do. And this is a huge play right here because this is that to take the lead. Right now it's 7 6. In motions to Napoli. Here's the snap. It's going to be a swing out pass. It's going to be a Thornton. Oh, he spins out. He's got to get in there. Wow, what a play by Trevor Thornton. Two guys close on him. He spins, does a 360, and goes to the corner of the end zone, and the Rockets take the lead. What a play by Thornton. They swung that pass out earlier, and it was well defended. It looked like it was equally well defended here, and Thornton does a spin of rammer and goes to the corner for the uh, – looked like it looked like those guys didn't want to hit him at the end, right? Yeah. They came in and closed on him. He spinned on him. They just didn't need – they could have kept pushing through him, and they didn't do it. So, nonetheless, the Rockets march right down here. 
about five plays, 60 yards after what was an excellent punt by uh, Melrose, and they take the lead, eight to seven. They kick off here. Got to be getting late in the half here. So last thing you want to do is give up a big return. There's Foxy right there. It's going to go to number 81. He's a big kid. There's a hold right there on 24. There it is. The flag's there. Absolutely. Big hold there on, uh, on number 24, who's Zach Kenyon. And this thing's got to come back. Yep. He had, a, he had a nice seam there because Kenny was being, being mauled over on the right-hand corner there. So nonetheless, this is going to push this one way back, which is good fortune for uh, the Rockets here. All right, here we go, first and 10 from their own 30 now. It's one way to get a big seam there, Brian, right? Yeah. Just haul people down. Nonetheless, first and 10 here. Got to be getting late in the half here. He's going to swing out to try to pass. Oh, Adam Deemer's right there. I'm a force right there. Good play. He's going to get a first down. It's pulled down by Nortellis. So good looking play. Dima was closing another half a step, and Adam would have lit him up. So nice pursuit by Dima, but a good rollout and pass. He's rolling out to his off offside, too. He's done that a couple times today. You don't usually ask your uh, freshman quarterback to roll off hand, right? He's had a couple of first downs that way, and it's first down again here from their own 43. I don't know if I've heard a two minute warning call, though. Oh, they call timeout. So they had a, they had a different uh, lineup there. Melrose has to call timeout. Let's see if we can get a time check on the field, Brian. Three left, so they're going to get one play before the two-minute warning. And here it is. It's a handoff to number uh, 81. He's got a lot of room in front of him. Right there is Ferrante. Gets around him. Oh, and he drives it for a first down. Lynchy comes over, cleans him up, but it's a big first down play. I think that's a two-minute warning. I think they also said that Melrose has used all of their timeouts. So, big play there. We need a little bit of a push from the linebackers up there because uh, it seems to see the, the, these sort of sweeps, right, these jet sweeps that they pull. He's waiting, waiting, waiting before he turns up field. But he, nonetheless, he gets a first down here. Inside Rocket territory here. Need a big defensive push here to get to the half of the, keep, have to keep the Rockets with the lead. He's going to roll out again. He's going to throw it right here. It's going to be, oh, boy. Oh, he pulls it out of his hands. Beautiful play right there by Perez. Perfect throw and catch, and he didn't make the football move with it, and Perez strips the ball out of his hands. So number 81 pulls the ball down. He, that kid's about six foot three. Perez comes in, strips the ball out of his hands. Huge play by Nick Perez there. Uh, that thing was going to go for 20-plus. Clock starts ticking. Pay attention to that clock in these plays here. He's back to throw again. He throws underneath right here, and he gets met immediately. Oh, come on. Got to make that tackle. Conroy can't make the tackle, and Nortellis whips him out of bounds. So Trevor Conroy right there, like I said, that number 81 is big and tough. you got to go low on him. But Nortellis comes to clean him up, and he actually pushes a very short gain here. But nonetheless, this late and in Rocket territory, you may be looking for these guys to um, go two plays here, right? Why not? I'll tell you, the quarterback's got a nice arm, Brian. Yeah, he does. Made a couple of beautiful passes. He goes back again. This time it's just a straight drop. Oh, Larry's in there. He throws it wide open, just throws it over his head. Wow. Miscommunication. Nortellis and Conroy are looking at each other. Who was that? And fortunate for Redding right there. That they, We just talked about how many great passes. Good thing we jinxed him, huh, Brian? Yeah, he made about eight great passes. He, he threw that one well over his head, and it's fourth down right now. So here's the one thing you don't want to do is give, give the Rockets the ball back with any, any clicks on the talk. Uh, I mean, uh, any ticks on the clock. Or, yeah. uh, I'll figure it out, Brian. <laughs> it's Friday afternoon. Exactly. Big play right here. Big push up the middle on that last one, though, too. Nice job by the Rocket defensive line there. This one's a sweep here. He's going to try to throw it again. Oh, great job. He pulls it down. 
Very close to the first down. They're going to give it to him? They are giving it to him. Didn't even hesitate. So first down play there. And it's it's funny to see these guys. Every single pass play, he's rolling to his offhand, right? Yeah. And he's throwing bullets too, by the way. So new set of sticks from the 32-yard line. Let's see if we get a, the clock here. Rockets had another good push there, but they're rolling away from the DiCrescenzo Oak side. Every play, this one's oh, it's going to be a halfback option. Oh, there's Damari. Oh, he's going to come in there. Oh, he almost picks it off. Danny Damari croaks number 81 in the halfback option. And I think it was uh, Ferrante back there or, or Perez. I, I couldn't see which one it was. One of the single-digit guys back there and almost picked that thing off. So the play by Damari ends up being a wobbly short pass. And did, did you see Damari close on him? Yeah. That's the Danny we've seen from that middle spot. Now, you know what? I hate to say it, him from the outside uh, uh, linebacker position plays right into the play calling here of Melrose. They swing everything out to the right or left, depending on where he's going to line up. And Damari's made a lot of big defensive plays here. This one's going to be a swing right across the middle. Cuts up and gets pulled down by a couple of different people. Nice job there. Slowed up by Deemer, and Oki comes in and cracks him from the back. Now they're doing a hurry up here. They're running out of time. Nice play by Deemer and Oki on that one. Third and about six here. They're running out of time. They're with the hurry up. He rolls again. He throws it. Catchy's he's trying to get out of bounds, and he does. Man, they, they got to do something on the defense on that play. They have not been able to stop it all day. And Nortellis and Conroy are over there. They're looking at each other. They gotta, they, they're they trying to get it together. And in comes Flanagan for Conroy. They've rolled out left. And with the exception of the pass that he overthrew, they've made about five of those connections right here. And it's first down from the 20. Clearly just a few seconds left on the clock here. I don't know how many. They needed to get out of bounds. This one's going to be, oh, he, he, oh, he's right in there. Oh, he gets it. Oh, oh, no. Oh, he throws it and Flanagan drops it. Huge push right there. Deemer was in there. Larry was in there. The quarterback gets hit, lofts it right up, a duck to Flanagan, and, and Flanny drops it. He could have grabbed that thing and went 80 yards. Oh, he's probably going to be killing himself here in this one. Let's get out of it with a zero and not make that one hurt. But they swap out Flanagan for uh, Conroy in the last play. Flanny's in the right spot. And he couldn't come up with it. This time they do roll right. They get a close on him. He's wide open. He throws it way over his head, though. So we got to be getting close to the half here. Let's see if we can get a time check here, Brian. All right. Third and ten here. I tell you, Melrose dodged a huge bullet there because we know Flanagan can run too. That not only could have been the turnover, it could have been points for Rocket side. This one he swings right across the middle. It's over his head. Oh, this one does get intercepted. Wow, beautiful play by Nortellis to tip it. He tips it to himself. So nice job by the Rockets right there. And they should be content right here to kneel on the ball that deep and go into the half with the lead and they'll get the ball back, right? So beautiful play there. Nice job by Nortellis out there. Jumped up, popped it up right to himself, and then pulled it down. So they're at about the 16-yard line. I, I think you might see these guys be content to, uh, to um, kneel unless they get more than a minute here. If they get more than a minute, you might see one of these uh, pass plays again. Got Tice way right, Conroy and DiNapoli. Look for DiNapoli in motion, maybe. He is. Seen that a few times. Now it's going to be a hike here. He's back here to pass. Throws it right across the middle to DiNapoli. He's got some room. He's got to hold on to that ball. Oh, Adam's still on his feet out to the 45. So big play. They're going to call timeout here. Nice job. That's the play. I think they tried across the middle at, uh, for that fourth down play. This time, Damari has more time. They throw it across to DiNapoli, makes a nice pass and catch, rips it for about 30 yards. So Redding calls a timeout here, and they're thinking about points here.
All right, Rockets come out here. DiNapoli, I mean, sorry, Damari flanked by Thornton and Fleming as usual. This one's going to be back to pass as Damari throws it up. And he's, oh, he gets pulled down. He's pulling his hand. He's right there. He sees him right in front of him pulling on Tice's jersey, and it gets bounced down, and the ref doesn't call it. A little bit of a floater there, but uh, it looked like Tice was in good position, and he's got him by the jersey. I can see it from here. There's a guy five feet away watching him pull from the jersey. Apparently he wants to run in for the half here. Rocket's going to try another play here. Look for another pass. Now that if we pull a Trevor Thornton. How about that screen across the middle? Oh, we've seen this play before, and this one could be the double pass here. This one's going to be here. Oh, it is going to be the double pass. He looks for it, heaves it up. Oh, and it gets, oh, it goes down. I don't think it was intercepted. If they call it intercepted, I think it hit the ground. Gosh, I think that one hit the ground, Brian, and they're going to call it an interception. So they try that pass. Trev Conroy throws it up. This, this one particular one was well covered. And if we saw that one on tape, that bounced on the ground and the, and the refs were in no position to say it did otherwise. Because they're about 15 yards up the field on that play. You, you hate to give these guys another play here after you're making that play and for a play that surely shouldn't have been a turnover here. I could be doing a little bit of homerism here too, uh, Brian, because the tape could say otherwise. But nonetheless, that one looked like it hit the ground because it was right in front of us here. He's going to go back here. Big push by Larry. Throws it up, and that one's going to be oh, intercepted right there by Damari. Danny's still on his feet, but he just gets pulled down. Listen, I think it might be time for these guys to uh, not get cute here, and they're going to go halftime here. So I think that's the case. So at halftime, Damari picks it off. They exchange... 30-yard interceptions, but with the half, at the half, I'll tell you, very, very well-played game here. Uh, the Rockets settle down after some early mishaps here. They take the lead late in the second, and at halftime, uh, it is Redding 8, Melrose 7. Hey, Brian, we're getting set here for the second half kick. Hey, Brian, guess what I'm doing tonight? What are you doing? Man? I am going to Glow Ball Golf, Golf in the Dark. Up at oh, really? Yeah, it's going to be awesome. At Hillview? Yeah, Hillview. It's set up by the Moose Lodge up there. So about 50 guys are going up there. And uh, I think that's the only ball that I won't lose, one that glows in the pitch black dark. Here's the kickoff right here. This one's going to, oh, bounces over the head, picked up by uh, Derek Van Horn. Oh, nice move by Derek right there. Wow, evades that guy. Guy who's closing in him, does a nice little stutter step, gets it back right to the 40. So beautiful run back by Derek. Might have, that, that evasive maneuver might have saved his life. But nonetheless, <laughs> yeah. it saved his life and gave him 10 more yards. So great play by Derek. Nicely fielded, too. That thing popped right over the head. I'm not sure who it was uh, out of the second line of defense there. But the Rockets are going to take over here with good field position. And this is a huge series for the Rockets. They get the ball back. And they're going to start with the Perez group right here in the second half. So we got Perez, looks like Wes Costin back there. Nice, first time i uh, seen Wes in the backfield. This one's gonna be a handoff to Wes up the middle and he takes it for about, let's say, two or three yards. Hey, credit the coaching staff here, right? It's uh, two undefeated teams and he's playing guys all over the field here. And Wes Costin, I think it's his first carry of the year. So Wes takes it for about two. Perez comes in with a play. Tell you, Nick Perez made a couple of beautiful defensive plays here too, including a big one that stripped their big number 81 of the ball on a huge pass and catch earlier. This one's going to be a keeper. Oh, nice job, Rod. Uh, oh, he, oh, the ball's on the ground, and it comes right back to uh, Perez. So, beautiful play uh, right there. That I mean, he, he made he, he was stopped in the backfield. He gets back and actually gains a yard, I think. But nonetheless, uh, he gets hit hard. The ball fumbled, and fortunate for the Rockets, bounces right back up in Nick's, uh, Nick's hands. Nine here. Perez flanked by Costin. See if Nick's going to put the ball up here. This is a handoff to Wes up the middle. He cuts right. 
Gets wrapped up after about three or four yards. So fourth down here, and it looks like you're going to see the Rockets kick it away. <laughs> All right, Trevor Thornton back here to kick. Well, it's a little off the side of the foot there. I'm going to say get away from it, but it takes a rocket bounce, fortunately. So the Rocket's going to stop it right there around the, let's say, 36-yard line. So not a huge net gain there. Not Trevor's best kick, but nonetheless, uh, it does take a rocket bounce here. And Melrose is going to take over here first and 10 from their own 36. All right, here we go. Melrose is going to start here first and 10. Rockets have had a couple of good defensive stops here, but these guys can throw the ball. There's some movement there in the backfield. Number 34 is on his feet. He's huge. Finally gets pulled down from behind. I think Oki's in there, but he rips it for about eight. Uh, Lynchy, I mean. Lynchy was in there. I saw 55 at 65 Lynchy, uh, but he takes it for about eight there. I thought I saw some movement in the backfield, although, I, you know, to be fair, uh, Brian, I've seen a lot of, lot of early movement this year. Yeah. And nonetheless, nice they don't really it. call it. I yeah. suppose if it's not germane to the play, but nonetheless, uh, the guy who moved left had a pretty good lead block. <laughs> this is a new formation for him. I formation goes right up the gut. And, oh, nice. DiCrescenzo absolutely crushes him. Dom DiCrescenzo destroys up the middle of the line, and that might be the last time you see the I formation. <laughs> so third and one goes to now third and about six. What a play by Dom. And he is a big, tough guy, but I'll tell you, Every single one of these guys in that Melrose line might be as big as Dom. Yeah. They are, they are big. Big dudes. So call it, uh, well, I say call it third and four now. Big play here. This one goes to number 34. He's got room, and Dom pulls him down. Again, DiCrescenzo's in there. Let's see who else is over there. I think Nortellis get in there, and they call him for the punt. So beautiful defensive play there in particular. Number 52, DiCrescenzo puts his stamp on a couple of those. And Nortellis is going to go back for the punt. Credit the uh, Rocket D on a number of different plays. Here. Look at DiCrescenzo. Oh, he's going to go around here. Oh, he takes him down as Damari on fourth down. Huge play. Big push by DiCrescenzo had number 81. Yeah, quaking a little bit there. And Danny Damari, as he always is, closes way faster than these guys can put up. The Rockets are going to take over here on the Melrose 30. So absolutely massive play on fourth down, led by DiCrescenzo and the great speed, closing speed of Damari to take him down. And I think, you know, here's the thing about Danny Damari. He's deceived, he has deceptive speed, right? And he his closing speed and his angles are better than any freshman kid I've seen in years. He takes perfect angles on people. He took a perfect one there, takes them down, and the Rockets are going to take over first and 10 with incredible field position here. Tice right, Grady left, Thornton and Fleming flanking Damari. This one is going to be, uh, it's going to be a keeper right there. Damari's going to fall, Thornton, oh, he cuts up, he's still on his feet, Damari's going to go in. Beautiful play by Danny. I'll tell you, the misdirection pulled four guys from Melrose over, and he's following Trevor Thornton. Thornton goes left, and he sees a hole right. Shifts left, shifts right. First play from scrimmage. Damari makes a beautiful play in the defensive thing. Very next time he touches the ball, he goes in from 30 yards for a touchdown. So huge play right there. Great series for the, for the Rocket D, and now the first play, the Rocket O. And they, they bump this thing up to 14 to seven right now, and they're going to go for two. Thornton and Fleming, who's it going to be? This one's going to go up to Thornton. He's going to go, oh, he, he gets stacked up, and I don't think he makes it. So they say no. Look like we saw a hole there, but credit uh, number 33 and number uh, 50 for Melrose to stack it up. So nice job right there from Melrose. That was a huge, um, a huge extra point there, Brian, because it could have been two scores. You know, you make you, you make it 16-7. Um, they got to score twice, right? Yep. But nonetheless, they're within striking distance, not only with a single point, but the, but uh, a two-point conversion could give Melrose a lead. But none, great job here by Redding. Foxy getting set to kick off as the sun's going down here. A little bit, little bit uh, easier on us on our uh, eyes here now. Sun yeah, now I'm down. freezing. 
Yeah, I know. The sun, <laughs> sun went down and just dropped about 14 <laughs> degrees right now. Foxy set to kick off. A short pooch punt almost. It gets fielded by number 89. Wow, big hit right there in the middle. Gets outside, stay in their lane, but he's going to have huge, uh, you know, runs it back to the midfield here. So it's going to be excellent, excellent field position for Melrose here, having to go half the field. Here we are first down here from midfield. So nice run back there. It was a little bit of a short kick. Number 33 in motion. This one's a keeper up the middle. He's got Rome, and he's got more than enough Rome. And in, in comes Lynchy and Perez at the end. Danny got a piece of him, but he takes it right up the gut for a first down. So inside the 40, first play here. Asking a lot of this Rocket D here. They have come up big a number of times. Thirty-three in motion. This time is a handoff to him. He's got good block in front of him. In comes Nortelis right across there. High tackle, which isn't ideal, but he rips him down. He doesn't get it again there. So it's going to be second and nine. Nice, nice job by Jaheem to close there. That's the type of close we're talking about on the outside that we need, right? There's a nicely set up play, good blocking, and Nortelis cuts through it. And keeps it to a short gain. Second and nine right here. This is that I formation we've seen in the past. Last time De Crescenzo made a, a big deal. There. Oh, nicely set up play there. Here's Perez. Perez makes a beautiful open field tackle. That was a good looking play. They set up that eye, they fake it up the middle now, pitch it out. Looks like he's got all sorts of real estate and from free safety down the middle, Perez stops him for a gain of about three. So very big defensive play right there by Nick Perez. He is an excellent athlete. Third and call it six right here. Big play, because this would be iffy to go for it on fourth. Oh, wow, that thing was good job by number 12 there. And he's still on his feet, and he gets to, he to strip the ball out of there. That hike was a rocket. He fielded it, and it's got a huge hole up the middle and takes it for about 15 yards. So credit number 12 there is a very athletic play there. I tell you, I'd like to see they had a couple of guys on. I'd like to see they uh, get in there and try to strip that ball from him. He's carrying it a little bit away from his body there, and they had him stood up. Nonetheless, he takes it for a first down from the inside the 25-yard line. This one, oh, it's pitched up the middle. He gets stacked up. He's still on his feet. Oh, Damari comes from behind to take him down. But I tell you, they almost had an over-pursuit there, but... That's, that's, a, that's a case. He, he looked like Demario Perez on that one, turning nothing into something. The quarterback for Melrose, he's a very good player. So it's going to be second and five from about the 20-yard line. Very good offensive series for Melrose on this one. A little confusion over here. A little confusion that they might be running out of time. D getting their game time inspiration by Steve D. Crescenzo again, as usual, screaming for Lukey to give a push up the middle. Swings it across. Oh, boy. He I think he was trying to swing that pass out to number four, and I he looks like he just lost control of it. So it's going to be it's like third down here and five. Now, this is clear four down territory, but they look like a swing pass out there and uh, just lost control of that ball in the pass. They break the huddle here. Rockets looking for a big play here. Not afraid to pass as we've seen them, and he rolls out that way. This one goes right up the gut. Oh, he gets tripped up, but he's going to take it for the first down, I think. 
Kajander dives in, and then so does Deemer and DiCrescenzo from behind, but it's a first down. So they move the chains again. We get a whistle here, and it looks like that's the end of the quarter. So at the end of the third, it's Reading 14, Melrose 7, but Melrose is threatening. This one's a handoff right up the gut, number 34. Oh, he gets pushed back by Oki in there. Good pursuit. The ball's on the ground, and he gets picked up by Perez. Oh, what a play. Beautiful push to the right side for Oki. He has to swing him out wide, and then he cuts back up, and the ball gets stripped, and Nick Perez picks it up. That is a titanic turnover at an opportune time for the Rockets. Huge play. And Nick Perez, again, is in the right spot at the right time. That's what good athletes do. He picks the ball, pounces on it, doesn't try to do too much with it, get the ball, and we take it over here from just about the 15-yard line. So massive turnover in Redding's favor right there with, with Melrose threatening. And out comes Damari immediately again. This one's a handoff right at the gut. He gets stacked up a little bit. Uh, uh, Trevor for a yeah, short gain there. So nice job from Melrose to close in there. They get, like I said, they got some very, very big guys on that side of the line. Number 75 looks like he's about 270 pounds. You yeah, try to get Demario outside or one of them outside a little bit. Danny's the guy who, who has the instincts to bounce in and out as necessary. Maybe like to see another one with uh, Danny following uh, one of the two big backs. This one's going to be a pass. Throws it underneath, and it's caught. Oh, big hit, but it's very close to the first down. Nice job right there. It's 89 Tice. So Evan Tice with a slant, and the slant gets it very close to that first down. It's going to be, I'm going to call it, um, I think it's actually third down here. Yeah, it's third down and one. So Rocket's not afraid to pass deep in the zone. This is where you might go. One of those big backs get that first down on the new set of sticks. It's exactly what happens. Oh, he's hit hard, and he drives it. I don't think he gets it. They stop him short here. So this one's going to be very tricky here. It's fourth down and one. Go for it. Oh, you're risky here. Actually, it looks like more than one. I think you might see them kick this one. And go but for it in the middle. He's giving them a play. Right the middle. There, hey, Damari raped the middle. In the fourth, this is a huge play right here because it's 14 to seven. This would be incredible field position. Now, granted, the Rockets got their got that uh, the turnover here, but if they move the chains here, that is going to really hurt Melrose. Huge play right here. Huge. This is going to be a pass. It's going to be a keeper for Damari. He's going to take it and more. Beautiful play, Danny in and out. He takes it. He might go all the way. Oh, and he's going to. Fourth and one and Damari. Oh, he gets pushed out of bounds, he says, at the 40-yard line. So they call it back. and like, Danny Damari, that's the old option, right? He swings it out. He can run it or pass it. Damari takes it for about 45 yards. He looks like he's going to the house on a fourth down play. And what a gutsy call by the coaching staff there, Brian. Yep. They turn that over. It's, uh, they, Melrose has the ball on the 20-yard line. That's like Bill Belichick versus uh, Manning. <laughs> and uh, Except that the Rockets convert on this one. So huge play by Damari. And Melrose is very fortunate to, uh, to get that ball uh, to push him out of bounds here. And Perez comes in, give Damari a breather. Perez flanked by the two big backs. I like to see that. It's a handoff right here. That's going to be, oh, boy, it's Fleming. Oh, he just runs over the balls on the ground. Oh, and he gets it. Fleming Storton picks it up. I think it might have been a fumble. Either way, the Rockets get it. But Lucas Fleming absolutely steamrolls number 33. He does not want to go down, but he lost it at the very end. And Thornton picks it up, so very fortunate. I thought he might have been down, Brian. Yeah, it looked like he was. He looked like he was down anyway. But they call it a fumble because they gave him the extra yard that Thornton picked it up. So I wouldn't mind seeing Nicky Perez throw the ball. This deep, he's got an excellent arm. This one's, uh, oh, he's going to be a keeper. Oh, and he gets, he gets stacked up. He should go down right here. So 
take a little bit of a late hit there, but he gets pushed back. Good pursuit on the left side of that line for, uh, for Melrose, and it's going to be second and 15 upcoming. And Damari's going to come back in. So big first down. Second one gets pushed back a little bit. Look, might have looked like a little bit of a broken play. I don't know if that was supposed to be a keeper there, but. Second and call at 14 here from the 33-yard line. In motion is going to be DiNapoli. Oh, it was, it was <laughs> look at that play. Danny pulls it down and turns it. That was a play that was supposed to be maybe a swing to Thornton, but, but Damari was fumbling with the ball. He didn't have a good grip on it. So he just pulled it down for a couple of yards. It's going to be third and 12. So not the play they wanted to pull off uh, as, the, as it was hiked, and Danny didn't quite have a grip on it. Nonetheless, he takes it for three yards, but it's third and 12 here. I would clearly say this is four down territory. Listen, if it's four down territory when you're on your own 20, it's definitely going to be four down territory on their 30, right? Yep. Nortellis comes in. They call timeout. They didn't have the right lineup in there. They're going to bring in Jaheim for a play, but they call a timeout here, and they're going to get the right one here. So Rockets take a few ticks and uh, got to get the right, uh, right team in. Clapping hands synch in synchronicity as they break the huddle on the sideline. Nortellis is going to go up for a pass here. He swings out. He throws it up. Jaheim's right there, and he pulls it in. Wow, they throw Grady deep, and Nortellis underneath, and Nortellis pulls it down to the 10-yard line. What a play. Jaheim flying down there. Beautiful route. They go with Grady across the middle. Jaheim goes to, goes to the uh, sideline. And Damari throws a 30-yard, 20-yard pass right on the button. So first, I think it's going to be first and goal in just at the 10-yard line, and that's exactly what it is. Big passing catch. Damari to Nortellis. Huge, huge um, offensive series right here for Redding. They love to get on the board here and make it more than two scores. This one's Nortellis here. It's going to be a keeper for Damari. He follows, uh, gets outside, still on his feet. He drives it into the five-yard line, maybe the six. So they send Nortellis a motion. you got to account for him. He pulls behind, and he tries to follow Thornton. He does follow him for about five yards. So it's going to be first and goal from the six-yard line here, just, at, just over the five. And in comes Damari with the play. Got to be halfway through the fourth right now, Brian. Oh, yeah, easy. Going to be getting late fourth. Getting late in the game, and this is a very, very big series. I like to keep it on the ground with the big guys here. Oh, what do we got here? Maybe a timeout. Going to be timeout uh, Melrose right there. So I'm going to take a, take a breather, and we'll be back. <laughs> here we go. Second and goal from the six. Nortellis in motion. This one goes to Jaheim. He's got a big blocker in front of him. He's got to get outside, and he doesn't quite get outside. So it's really a no gain right there. Jaheim's going to look for a seam and cut north to south. Got strung out a little bit. He had Lucas Fleming out in front of him. Perfectly happy with him keeping it on the ground, though, because the clock's going to be moving. They've got to be eating up clock, but it's going to be third and goal from a, just over the seven now. That one's actually a loss of about half a yard. Clear four down territory. Damari's going to come in. Love to see if they're going to roll out, give Damari that, uh, that read option, right? Maybe I could throw it and pull it down and yeah, keep yeah. it. Can never go wrong with one of the two big backs off tackle either. Here's Damari. This one's going to be, he's going to give him that option. He cuts up on his feet. What a move by Danny. He drives it down to the one-yard line. So he just makes a very athletic move. He's on the one. It's going to be fourth and goal from the one. I got to believe you want to keep this on the ground, Brian, just for the sake of the clock running. And if they do actually stop them, it's 99 yards to go, right? Yep. Huge play right here for the Rockets because if they, they, they score here, this thing could be over. Imploring that line for a big push right here. Look for number 34. 
No, it's going to be a swing, and Damari gets pulled down, but he's, he's driving for it. He's in! Ah, oh, they give it to him! What a play by Damari! He breaks the plane. He gets hit twice. It spins off of it. Oh, what a play! And now we get a now we get a uh, unsportsmanlike conduct on Melrose, which is going to kill them. It's going to push them back another 15 yards. Danny Damari gets hit, gets, almost gets pulled in, down in the backfield, breaks off that, gets hit at the two-yard line, spins off that, and reaches for the goal line for the touchdown. That is huge. What a play by Damari, and he has made a ton of them tonight. Two-point conversion upcoming, but effectively at 20-7. to seven, I don't know if there's enough time for Melrose to get back in this one. And the Melrose coach is shaking his head because there was a penalty and it was an unsportsmanlike, which has to be enforced on that kickoff. Right now it's the Rockets 20, Melrose 7. They're going to try to make it 22-7. Right up the gut is Fleming. Oh, look at him, and he drives it. He's still on, but he says no. Wow, three guys on him. Another uh, little extracurriculars in there, but Lucas tries to roll it. They tell him to calm down over there. Redding's got the lead here, but nonetheless, they do stop him. <laughs> Lucas pile driving. I actually thought he might have had that one. They just put three guys on him, but nonetheless, the Rockets have the huge athletic play by Damari and a great offensive drive in general, which was a couple of big plays, including a huge pass to. Uh, to Nortellis, but maybe the biggest play was Damari at fourth and two from their own 20, breaking it for about 35, 40 yards that could have been a touchdown by itself. And so now we're going to kick off from their side <laughs> with that 15-yard penalty, the unsportsmanlike. Should give the Rockets excellent field position here. But we got to be getting late in the fourth here, and it's Redding 20, Melrose 7. What a game. Very, very tough Melrose team. Just want to prevent a big run back here. You got to think if the Rockets do what they're supposed to, they'll, they'll ha have them pinned back. Nice kick by Foxy. It's picked up at the 15. Three guys here, number 81. He cuts up. Oh, you got to take him down here. Number 81 is about a foot tall than number 80, uh, Alex Neff Gatchel. He does run it back to the 40-yard line. It ends up being a net uh, gain of five yards, Brian. <laughs> Kick it from there, 45, and they start from their own 40. Nonetheless, they, the, uh, the, the line has a uh, very good three guys out here, but number 81 cuts outside, gets past Neff Gatchel, and uh, gets pushed out around uh, the 39-yard line. So first down here, let's see if we can get a uh, clock check. Thought I heard 2.03 left. We'll find out if they do a two-minute warning here, but he's clearly going to put the ball in the air here, I would imagine. That's what they plan. He rolls out again. There's Oki on him. He's got to stay with him. It's like he's letting up over there. I'll be talking to number 55 later. He had good pursuit on the outside. Maybe he's, uh, his goal is to contain, though. That's what he's going to tell me afterwards. He doesn't want anyone turning around going the other way. <laughs> he goes... I need to contain, not necessarily be uh, Joey Boza out there. So he'll put me in my place because he's probably smarter than I am, <laughs> right? There you go. <laughs> Nonetheless, I, I want to see him come and make a sack, hit that guy from behind. Second and five upcoming. It's another roll away. There's Oki again. This is a big throw. Oh, and it's intercepted by Nortellis. He's still on his feet. Oh, we got a, looks like a, a hit from number 50. Nortellis cuts back. I think that could be a penalty on Melrose. Nonetheless, big pursuit by 55, Oki again. I'll say that he uh, heard footsteps just because he's my son, but nonetheless, it wasn't the best pass by uh, the quarterback who's thrown some beauties today. And Nortellis makes a huge athletic play, goes up and pulls it down. So I don't know where this penalty's going to go. I thought this was against Melrose after the interception. Hauled down someone uh, right in front of him. And they, I think they're going to walk off another 10 here. And they, they don't. They don't do anything. You threw a flag, maybe you picked it up. Hmm. Odd, odd play to throw a flag right in front of your face and then pick it up afterwards. Changed his mind, apparently. So, nonetheless, we might have too many guys in here. This one's Perez, the Perez group in there. Oh, he moved a little early. He's going <laughs> to, listen, number 26. 
was Kunj Patel left about three seconds early, and apparently the uh, referee needs to get to another game because yeah. it's right in front of him, and he doesn't he doesn't throw the flag. Melrose coach is shaking his head. He's like, well, wait, wait a second, what happened? But they did call it. They moved him back, actually. Nick Perez on the line. We got Gilligan, Cronin, Swanee in the middle, Masuch. This one goes to Perez right up the gut to uh, uh, Kyle Flanagan. A beautiful play by number 50, the linebacker. Guy with the too small shirt right there, right? Both of his flaps sticking out there. I think he's going to fly away, but he flew right through the middle there and closed on Flanagan very quickly. So little hole was closed, closed very quickly. It's going to be third and about 15 upcoming. Got to see what we have for time left here. I think it has to be under two minutes. It's got to be close, man. I thought they said 2.03, but. Third down here. Ten seconds left. As I hear 10 seconds. That might be 10 in the game. They might let uh, Nick throw the ball. Oh, he pulls it down. He's on his feet. He cuts up. Oh, he gets met by 34 and ripped down. So that could be the game. Let's see. Not sure right now, but Perez pulled it down, had a little bit of room, and a very good job by their uh, guys. And that looks like ah, they're going to switch it up is what they're going to do. I think the punt team's coming on. Got to be getting very, very late in the game here, Brian. Brian, I want to say today in particular, yeah, your yeah. color commentary has been spectacular. Off the charts, yeah. It's been incredible. It's fabulous. Insightful, right? Yeah. Uh, lucid. Lucid thinking. Probably a little too much pregame today. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they call that every day for you, Brian, okay? <laughs> I don't know what that is, but nonetheless. Uh, <laughs> and funny, the, the fog's not here, but it's up in your head. Here we go. Oh, there's a kick right there. Oh, he gets fielded on the fly. Nice job right there. Still on his feet. And Kajanda's going to pull him down, and then Oki comes in, and Kajanda's helmet goes off. So big run back there. Nice play. He gets almost all of it back. Very uh, nice play by number 90, feeling on the fly and running right up the gut. Kajanda hits him. He drags him for five yards, rips his helmet off, and Jay's like, I'm okay with that. That's Jay. Jay's the guy who loves the death metal groups, right? Oh, yeah. Cannibal Corpse for that one. Loves that stuff. I think he said uh, his new favorite system of a, of a down. All right. Yeah. So give Jay a ride home from practice every once in a while and then get some musical knowledge from him. There you go. Nothing gets you fired up before a football game like a little death metal. Oh, yeah. That's what I always say. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Either that or a headache. One or I listen other. to that in the shower. <laughs> Death metal in the shower. Yeah. I can't listen to that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> it might be age or whatever, but I can't listen to it. They got to get Oki and DiCrescenzo off. They're going to call maybe too many men on, but I think they're going to play this thing. He's open across the middle. Oh, he gets tipped by Nortelis, and Perez takes it. And Nicky gets pulled out. That play was made again by Jaheim Nortellis. Tips it up, and Perez picks it off. What a play. Jaheim Nortellis has had a massive game, and that's it. Wow. What a game, Brian. Friday afternoon, it's beautiful out here, and the Rockets stay undefeated against a very, maybe the toughest team, most talented team that they've faced. They come out of here with a 20-7 win, and very, very big play today by Damari Nortellis, Perez, you know, we call those names a lot. Very tough running by Thornton and Fleming as usual. And credit the D on a number of different plays here. Those guys made some big, big plays. And the Rockets are going to be 8-0 right now going into their final game of the season against Wakefield, who they started with, right? That game, remember when they started with yeah. Wakefield? I, I remember it's, it was it was barely a few months ago, Brian. I think they had three plays in the playbook. Yeah, they had, they had six, like two practices. Nothing. They had three plays. I would imagine it's going to be a much better game back in Reading. Brian, I may have to sign off for the rest of the year because I'm going to get uh, laser eye surgery That's next, we'll uh, figure next it Thursday. Out, we'll figure it so out. So they did tell me that I need to lie down for three hours after. Oh, so okay. if I can put a patch in my eye and lie down horizontally and call this game, I'm going to do it. All right. But for right now, Brian, the Rockets stay undefeated, 8-0, 
Very, very good football game here on Friday afternoon. And now I just got to start stretching out a little bit for glow ball golf, Brian. There you go, man. All right, we'll see you next week. All right, guys, welcome to game number nine of Reading Freshman Rocket Football. What a game last week, Brian. Huge oh, beautiful game, game. two undefeated teams, and Reading comes out on top with some serious plays there. Listen, I don't know if I have time to name all the captains. They want to get captains in for every game. It's eight of them. <laughs> Flanagan and, and Cronin and DBH is in there. And Dana Isbell's in there. Who else we got? Giancarlo Musto's out there, 18. Who else we got? 84 Grady, and number 20 is... Um, I think that's Stephen Jones out there. Yeah, right? Stephen Jones. Jones yeah. Heard all year, so. Yep. So we have about eight captains out there today. Last game, and it's a rematch against the first team. Uh, we've come a very long way since the first time <laughs> yeah. we played uh, Wakefield, didn't we? I yeah, just we a played, bit. I think when we played Wakefield to start of the season, we had six plays, and they had three. Yeah, we were. Yeah. But um, hey, this is it. What a season for these boys, and it's another absolutely awesome day here at Reading. Rockets look to go 9-0 in their first season here as freshmen, and they've had quite a campaign. So, nonetheless, we'll be right back with the kick. All right, Wakefield set to kick off here, Brian. Brian, I realize, if you can believe it, I don't usually watch the tapes all the time, <laughs> but I did watch the last one. I heard myself say, nonetheless, 174 times <laughs> in an actual game. So, when you catch it, every time I say, nonetheless, in the game, you give me a knee, all right, and I'll try to stop it. All right. CBS isn't going to bring me back. Let it go out of bounds. Great play right there by DePietro to let it go out of bounds. Circles it. It was a tremendous kick inside the 10, and it goes out of bounds. The Rockets going to have great field position here. So, hey, here's the other thing, Brian. I don't want to pat myself on the back here, but uh, uh, I had laser eye surgery this morning, and I'm here today. Yeah, you're a trooper, man. Yeah, I got my... Glad to have you here. I got my Bono fly glasses on from the, uh, <laughs> the Fly Era U2 gang, so... If anyone's looking at me saying, look at Oki and those Yeah, but those, glasses. let me tell you, they let you see vividly. Very good. Yeah, well, listen, I, it actually already worked in just a couple hours. I can see better. His, all right, his first play, you got Perez. I think it's Flanagan flanking him. It is Flanny. He gets wrapped up. Oh, wow, he spins in his feet. He's still on his feet. So Flanny uh, takes him really just back to the line of scrimmage here. He's almost stopped, but he did a nice job to uh, prevent a loss and turn it into uh, getting back to the line of scrimmage. <laughs> whole rocket team is fired up today they want to uh oh, speaking of that look at this i, I think I, I think i saw uh, anthony masucci out there here is deputy chief mike masucci walking in, in uniform. there he is we, we'll be getting him on camera we'll get him <laughs> in uniform yeah, we'll swing it around all right here we go we got grady and DePietro, two of the fastest guys on the team out left this is the keeper for perez right and he gets met for a loss too so this is a clearly a different Wakefield team than we saw early on. They, they're trying to show the Rockets, and they've uh, they've gotten quite a lot better this year too. All right, we have third and just over ten to go here. Might look for Perez to put the ball in the air, get it in one of the speedsters' hands. Oh, it's a bad snap, and Nick has to go back, and he gets wrapped up immediately for a big loss, so a low snap is costly. Nick was fortunate to pick it up, but there was three guys on top of him, and it's a very, very quick three and out right here. Let's turn this around right now. We're gonna, we're gonna get a quick look at, uh, at, at Deputy Chief Mike Masucci and Joe Gilligan. Look at those guys. They're sitting there enjoying the game. Absolutely. Look at that. They're strategizing. They're talking to each other very, very seriously. Checking the phone. I'm going to have to call the Chelsea Fire Department right now and say, uh, these are where our tax dollars are going. So, all right. Here we go. We'll go back to a little game action now. The punt's already happened. <laughs> Nice job. He's still on his feet. Number three. And he just gets pulled down by Damari. So it's a nice, nice punt there. We're over, we're over uh, getting these guys on camera right now. And uh, needless to say, um, we're gonna have to we might have to call Ashi TV to get rid of that one. Yeah, we missed the punt there, but that's all right. Hey, last game, let's have a little bit of fun, right? That's all. All right, so beautiful uh, return for uh, Wakefield here, and they get a very short field to start this one from the Rocket 35.
high formation. He's got a little hole there. He's got a big room there. He got, takes it for about 10, so he rips it for one. You know what? We heard that whistle again, Brian. Yeah, and over there. And this is very, very difficult here. The advisory team is uh, practicing behind us. You hear those whistles. And I think uh, we had a couple of guys stand up thinking it was blown over here. So it's got me. It got me, too. I thought they blew the whistle. We had no play there, but they take it for a first down. This one's going to be a handoff left. Gets met, stacked up immediately. Over there is Deemer in there and Dom DiCrescenzo as well. So, short gain here. Going to be second and nine upcoming. All right, second and nine right here for Wakefield. In motion, we've seen this set up a few times. Nice little cutback, and he's in there. Oh, Damari tries to cook it. Cook, well, I mean, sorry, Perez comes in, but he rips it, and he takes it for about five. Uh, very close to the first down here. And they gave it him, so it's a first down play right there. Steve DiCrescenzo hopping in very early in this game. Yep. Rockets got to wake up here, though. Early in the game, they go a quick three and out. Two first downs in a hurry. And this one's a swing pass. Oh, DiCrescenzo's in there. He gets mashed up. That was all Dommy DiCrescenzo right there. He's listening to his dad right there. He gets way in the backfield, pushes it back for a loss. He's fortunate it wasn't a much bigger loss. Pushes it back about four and a half. Could have been seven if DiCrescenzo met him. He spun him around and everyone pounced on him. It's a great play by Dom right there. Second and 14 upcoming. High formation right here. It's a pitch left. Number three had a big turn. He's getting outside there. And he goes in. Wow, no one out there on the right side. And he goes in for an easy touchdown here early in the game. And Lexington, I mean, Wakefield wants to send a message here early that uh, undefeated means nothing to them. So we're going to come back for the extra point in a second. All right, here we go. Two-point conversion here. This one's right up the gut, and he gets stacked up immediately, right in the middle there. DiCrescenzo's in there, bottom of the pile as usual. Jacob Jander, too, so nice job stopping him, but that Wakefield uh, Warriors made quick work of Redding in their first series here. They already scored more points this game than they did the first time we played them, so, there you go. so they came to play. Let's hope the Redding boys can wake up after that one, and uh, they're going to get the ball back here in a second. All right, here we go. Wakefield sets a kickoff again very early here, first quarter. Back deep is DiPietro and Van Horn. The short kick goes oh. right there. It goes immediately to, uh, let's see who that was. Number 85. Dylan Lee. Dylan Lee. And you know what? Not a bad play. Dylan's not a guy they usually have back there, and it's a very short kick, and they're going to have great, great field position. I guarantee you in a play like that, he's coached to do that. He's actually getting a high five from his coach. If you guys get it early, grab the ball and go down because you guys are in a great position. So right now we have the Damari group in there, flanked by Thornton and Fleming. This one goes right up the gut, and it goes to Thornton, I think, for about three or four. You know, Trevor's got a huge gash on his chin. I guess he got in hockey earlier this week, so they didn't know if he was going to be able to get out here. I'm sure he's got that thing wrapped up two times, have a chin strap on it. It's going to be second down and about, I guess he got three on that one. Damari, this one goes to Thornton again right at the gut. Now he takes it for about dives for an extra two. So it's going to be third and about two upcoming. So nice run right there by Trevor. Get very close to midfield here. Snap and Tamari does a nice job and he dives for, for the first down. He gets it because it goes to midfield. So great athletic play by Damari just to field that. Pulls it down and gets the first down right at, right at midfield. So 
Nice play by Danny. Coming out to check the play with Coach. Break the huddle first and ten. Half a field to go here. Tamari, this one goes to Thornton inside. Trevis on his feet, cuts back. Oh, he's just about to spin, but he takes it for five. Good play by number 24. Trevor had a couple more uh, ahead of him, and he trips him up. Go five yards every play, Brian. Yeah, take that all day. Simple game, right? Yep. It's a snap here to Demari. This one goes to Thornton the other way. Oh, nice job right there to stack him up. And they said the ball's down. The screen ball, but it looked like it went back to Redding. Saw him drop the old ball, uh, the old flag there, as if it was a fumble. Let's go, nice boy. job by number 44 in the middle to close that one. Looked like a big hole, and it closed very quickly. So big play here, third down and just under five. Conroy and DiNapoli. DiNapoli a couple of big catches last time. He's in motion right now. Oh my gosh, the ball's hiked well over Damari's head. And he has to bring it down. That's a couple of high snaps in a row there. That really hurts him. They're going to have to kick this one away. So we got a timeout, it looks like, here. Reading, we'll come back in a sec. Looks like Trevor Conroy is back to kick. Maybe for the first time this year. Practicing some punts uh, earlier. Him and Thornton. Trevor boots it's a nice one. Nice kick by Trev. Fielded cleanly by number three is a very good athlete for them. The Dormy in there closing in on him. Dormy crushes him. A little help from Rotella. So nice angle by DiCosenzo. The number three was a very, very, he was, he was the child. He's the guy who went in easy on left. He had the big kickoff return too. So he's a number you gotta keep an eye on. Not sure if I recall seeing him in the first game. No. He might not have been there, so. Good athlete there. That's a guy you get a spy. So first and ten here from just about the Wakefield 37 yard line. All right, first and ten. Rocket D looking to redeem themselves after that last series. This one's a swing again right here. He's got a little hole. It's wrapped up. 22 is Nortellus. Gets a little help from Deemer over the top. So gain of about three there. Nice play by Jaheim. <laughs> Wakefield sets it up as that triple option there, Brian, right? Yeah. They have someone in motion. They can, the quarterback can keep it. You can hand it off up the middle. You can hand it to the swing man. This one goes inside. Handoff here. Right there. Beautiful play by Ferrante. Coming in there, Ben comes in and spied that out early and cleans him up. So nice tackle there. Short gain, and it's going to be third and five. A little more than five upcoming. They're here on their side of the ball. You think of the D stops from here, they're going to have to kick it away. This looks like a passing formation here for these guys, and it is going to be a pass. He drops back, he looks right over the middle, and it's a, it's a screen. Well, you've seen that screen, he's got a ton of room. Same exact screen Redding's run earlier, and it works for them. 24 rips that for about 15 yards, and a huge first down right there into Rocket territory. Not, a, not only was he open, there was four guys next to him. He gets an extra 10 yards there, so. They're using a play, uh, one of Redding's plays against him right there for a huge play on third down. A little center screen right over the top. We'll come back in a sec. Yep, first and ten here after the huge third down conversion for Wakefield. A beautifully set up play. This one's an inside hand up, and it gets met immediately. And I think that's to Janda right in the middle. Great job by Jay. Busts through the line, and he takes him down for a loss. So huge play by Kajanda right there. He's psyched. That's the type of rocket line D that we we're used to seeing right there. So nice job. A couple of big boys on this Wakefield team, too. Yeah. 
They don't have a lot of players over there, Brian. 21 in the whole team, right? But as we said before, if they're the right 21, they're, they're tough to beat. High formation here. See him go in motion again. This one's a keeper. He swings it out. What a play right there by Nortelis. Beautiful play by Dahim. He spies that one right out, and he looked like he knew he looked like he knew that play call before it was coming. So Jaheen pushes him back in his third and gonna be close to 20 right here. He is on the rocket side of the ball, so you may see four down territory here. Unless there's a big net game, but this is a huge play right here. Here we go. Third down after two pushbacks, one by Kajanda, one by Nortellis. This looks like another pass play. Rocket's gonna be careful here. They saw that one before. Oh, he's looking to swing it out. He swings it out underneath and it's, he's thrown it to a lineman out there. He thought he was the guy, and there's a reason why he's wide open. He's, a, he's the offensive tackle. <laughs> so nonetheless, uh, it's up. I just said it, nonetheless. Nonetheless, man, there you go. Trouble. Oh. That's, that's the first time it's only second quarter, it's so you'd be good. It's not bad. Yeah. I actually talked about saying it more than actually saying it. That was my second legit one. I'm going to stop myself. Yeah, so you're, we're doing fine. Well, come on. I'm going to look up synonyms for nonetheless, and I'll get that going. So All right. Fourth down here. You may see them kick that and try to pin him back and get Nortellis back deep. I think that's probably the play. You haven't said he's still on his feet yet. Yes. Well, we haven't had anyone still. We haven't had anybody right do that, now. so, yeah, we've got to work on that one. You do say he's still on his feet quite a bit. High looping snap there. Oh boy, Dobby puts it. Absolutely puts a lick in this kid. Go get it, go get it, get it. He's gonna make a move here. He does. Get outside. He's got some room. He's got room. Oh, he can go. He's got blockers in front of him. Oh, he cuts back. So what a play by Nortellis. A huge kick pins him down inside the five. And he makes a number of um, athletic moves there. And what was he, Brian? He was what? Still on his feet, right? Yeah, he's still on his feet. He's still on his feet there. Nonetheless. Ah, that was awesome. So great play right there by Jaheim <laughs> to bring that thing back out into some real uh, decent field position. They were going to be pushed way back there. Great play by Nortellis. He's, he's had a couple of great ones early. He might have had his best game of the season last week against uh, Melrose, too. Yeah, yeah. So Jaheim's come a very, very long way this year. Turn into a, a go-to guy on both sides of the ball for the Rockets. That's the first time we've got positive yards on a jet sweep all year. That was a nice play right there by uh, Adam. Jet sweeps only made uh, the jet sweeps only made possible with that block in front of them. So yeah, yeah. Finally getting it together. You might set a play, but if you don't have the right block, then it's never going to work. Here. So two big boys uh, flanking. Uh, this time it's Nortellis in motion. It's going to be oh, he swings it out to Thornton and it's a, a drop ball. The guy was right on Thornton there. They tried that move. They tried that a couple times last week. One time it, it worked with Thornton. Made a great athletic play to get in the end zone. But um, you get a double pump that and have Thornton stop and go. You know what? You know what they say? A, uh, a um, synonym for nonetheless is nevertheless. Nevertheless, yep. yeah. Nevertheless. It's not really that exciting. Not an exciting change there. Oh, we need to score a touchdown here to yeah, let's do that. tie this game up anyway. Play Nortellis on this time. He stops here. It's going to be a keep right here. This one goes to Fleming. He's got room outside. Oh, Lucas is, is pulled down. He's still <laughs> he's still on his feet, right? Yeah, he's still on his Listen, feet. Listen, there's a reason why I say that all the time because none, <laughs> of, the, none of these guys go down on that. Yeah, they don't go down and easily. None of them. Thornton, Fleming, they're still on their feet. And Damari, right? He's another one. These guys, yep. you can't hit them once. And we've seen it all year long. You can't hit them once. They just keep going. So it's going to be third and short here. Call it three and a half. 
In comes Damari and he stumbles. He trips over himself there. <laughs> his dad will get a little chuckle. We've got to talk about his dad last week. Oh, my gosh. He was a little his excited son, in the end zone there. His son went in for that huge play. We'll talk about that in a sec. Nortellis in motion here. This one goes to Damari. He goes right up to Thornton. And he cuts back. First down and more for Trevor. And he dives forward. Oh, big hit in the back there. But he rips that for about 15 yards. Very tough run. And Thornton bounces right back up like it didn't even matter. So last week, Brian, in that huge play, we were looking for the insurance play. Um, Dan, Big Dan Damari. I saw Dan Damari. I see Big Dan Beckenhuis. I see Joe Gilligan, Masucci. They're all lined up down the end. And Dan Damari is fist pumping <laughs> like he just won the Little League World Series. <laughs> It was incredible. We, you, it, I would I would implore everyone to go back to the Melrose game and look at that one and just replay it again and again and again because it was hilarious. But who doesn't want to see this? Not only who, who's not psyched to see their son make a play like that. Oh yeah, that play was tremendous. He actually did something similar when we won the World Series with the Indians. Oh yeah, well, he was my assistant. Another one of my favorites, and it <laughs> might have been the greatest of all, was that playoff game in Lawrence and Papuana. Oh like yeah, literally, I think he was literally riding the horse yeah. around up and down the sidelines. Didn't he have the flag game. too? <laughs> yeah, he had the flag. He was, you know, it was incredible. Good stuff. All right, hey, first and ten here, Rockets. Nice run right there. That's what we're used to out of these guys. Tell us emotion. This one goes to Jaheim. He's got Fleming ahead of him. He cuts up. He sees that hole. That's what I like to see out of Jaheim. He, a little bit earlier in the year, he, he swung that out. He was just out, going straight to the side. Now he's been coached up, right? See that hole and go hit it. He takes it for five. Nice play right there by Jaheim. Call it second and just over five here. Looks like Evan Tice split right. In motion to Napoli. This one's a keeper for Damari. He sees a seam, he spins out, but he gets wrapped up pretty quickly. But Danny still gets about three out of it. So we'll have third and about three or four upcoming. He didn't really give him a great spot there. I thought he was over. I don't know about you, Brian, but my eagle eyes, and now that I have laser, laser guns. I know, right? You can tell me exactly what inch line it's on now. I made more correct calls that the uh, refs didn't see last week. <laughs> Incredible. I'm not afraid to pat myself on the back when needed. No, right? no. You know what I'm saying? Yep. So third and call it three and a half. Big play here, but definite four down territory. Right up the gut, it's, it's Thornton. Oh, sorry, Fleming, he cuts out. Oh, man, he just tripped up, and it was just himself. Oh, he tripped over that 15-yard line. Yeah, he tripped over. Came up and bit him. He green in front of him, and I'm sure that uh, Lucas would like to have that back, but we, we're, we're perfectly okay with that because he rips it off for 10. Right. Nice run by um, Fleming right there. He was going with such a head of steam, he tackled himself. Right. A big shout-out to uh, the crew over there, Johnny Damari and Matt Sinella doing the chains. Look at that. that that's, that's dedication to the team, right, yeah. to the organization. Two of our yeah. best players who've been hurt this year, they're overworking the chains. And Matt Panacopoulos to over there, too. Brother Dan. Dan gets stacked up after a couple. So what a crew. we got the guys. we got one guy in a sling, one guy's in a boot. Two guys in a sling, and the <laughs> other one's got an elbow brace. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> love it. Love those guys. Hey, while we got a little break here, uh, I want to mention the Rocket Cheerleaders, Reading uh, Football Rocket Cheerleaders just won the Middlesex League Liberty Division competition uh, this week, and they're going off to the regionals in November. It was a totally awesome scene. All of the football players, the varsity football players, were there to cheer them on. Oh, nice. Yeah, it's great. I heard they passed out some uh, flowers to the girls, and they dominated last night. It was awesome. Great. He's back to pass. Oh, oh, what a play by Tamari to stay on his feet. Wow. Big pressure right there, and Danny can't get it off. We need a much better uh, look from the line there. And uh, Danny didn't have the time to get it off. He made one <laughs> evasive move. There were three other Warriors on him, so big pushback here. It's going to be third and about 15 upcoming. All right, big third down play here. Notellus in motion. 
This one goes to Demar. He's back to pass. He looks. He dumps it over the middle to Nortelis. He's got room. Shaheed's got room. He's going to dive in there for the touchdown. Beautiful play right there. Wow, a taste of their own medicine. They use the exact screen to Nortelis that was a big gainer for Wakefield earlier. And Jaheim takes it in for the touchdown. Third and 15. He takes it for 25 yards. That's what we needed. Set up play. Beautifully set up play. Drops back. Waits just long enough to bring the setup. Nutellus goes just over the line, dumps it off, and makes a nice run into the touchdown. So, what a play by Nortellus and a beautiful pass. The patience for Damari was critical there. Hold, let you guys get the uh, chance to get uh, in the right position, and a very big extra point right here. This one's going to be here. He's going to look to throw it. He's going to get outside, and Danny's going to dive in. Oh, I think he get in. He does not no. get in. I thought he did. But they give a big stop there, so huge defensive stop here for Wakefield to keep this game tied. But the Rockets march down. A couple of big plays, big runs by Thornton, Fleming, and a huge pass play from Damari to Nortellis for the touchdown. And as it stands right now in the second quarter, it's Redding 6, Wakefield 6. All right, set to kick off here is Foxy for the first time today. Nice boot by Foxy there. Goes back, gets fielded by... Number three, the big athlete, runs right up the gut. And what a hole he's got. Wow. If he doesn't run into his own guy, it's pulled down by Zach Kenyon from behind, but he literally ran into his own guy. So huge run back right there. And he's been very, very effective for Wakefield. He takes a good field position here for Wakefield to take over at their own 44. All right, first and 10 here for the Warriors. Eye formation, double eye. Right? It's a pitch out here. Oh, nice play, right? Oh, he got in there, made a beautiful play. Was uh, was Flanagan almost had a big loss there, and overcomes Deemer and Perez takes it for about four. But Flanny had great pressure on that play. Just couldn't make the tackle. That would have been a big loss right there. The guy who can make some things happen when he gets out there almost did it right there. Second and about six in motion. We've seen this play a few times. This one sweeps outside to number two, and he gets absolutely mashed. Danny O'Connor's in there low. Damari's in there low, and over the top comes Dom DiCrescenzo. You don't like to see that. You get two, those two guys low, and DiCrescenzo gets to pancake you on <laughs> top. So that's a loss right there. Pushes them back a couple yards. Great defensive play there, left side of the line. Oki, DiCrescenzo, and Damari. In a stop. All right, big play right here, third and seven. Stop here would mean they get the ball back, I would imagine. Swing out pass right here. Oh, makes a move right there. Kajanda, but Damari comes in. Beautiful pressure by Jay. That's their big athlete there. But Damari comes in. Larry uh, Lorenzo in there too. And that's a pushback. I think we're going to be kicking this one away. It's a beautiful defensive series right there, Brian. Yep. Three plays. A couple of pushbacks. Great pressure early by Flanagan. Then we have Oki DiCrescenzo Damari on that one. And that, that one right there was... Um, was good old Larry Lorenzo pushing in there, and once again, you call his name a hundred times a, 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 you know, a game, Dom DiCosenzo. Core of that line in the middle. So he is back to kick here. Nortellis is back deep. A nice touchdown return would be nice. Good, yeah. Oh, it's a high snap. Get in there. Oh, it's a low kick right there. He's going to go to Jaheim. He might pick it up. He's got to pick it up. Just get the ball. There you go. All right, nice job for the team just to get it. He's going to get it from the 30. So big pressure in there. Again, with that high snap, I would have loved to have seen. Uh, they put two guys on uh, T. Crescenzo on that one. They had to. Would have liked to have seen Oki get in there a little closer. But nonetheless, not the greatest kick. And the Rockets are going to take over here after a great defensive series. The uh, Perez group out there right now. 
in motions, Mike DiPietro. It goes to DiPietro, see if he can get outside. He does get outside, cuts up, gets for a couple of yards there. So, Michael's starting to get his feet under him there when he gets the ball in his hands. He's very, very fast. Now he's just learning how to uh, translate that into some football moves, right? Yep. So, I'd like to see Mike get a chance here. It's going to be a timeout here. Too quickly, batted it down, so. Tried to set up a similar screen. I think the Flanny across the middle didn't have time to set up because it was too big of a push on those big linemen, interior linemen. Big third down play here. Love to see uh, Nick and this crew move the chains here. Third and call it nine right here. Look for uh, Perez to put the ball in the air. He goes back. Got a little room and he does throw it across. And, oh, what a play by Brady! Jonathan Brady takes it down, throwing a little bit behind him and makes a huge athletic play. Takes it to a huge first down to midfield. Jonathan Grady, I think they had their 40 yard dashes. And Jonathan was the fastest guy in the team. And what a play right there. If that was almost in stride, no one would have caught him. Throws it a little bit behind him, and Grady makes a great athletic play there. He's come a long way with his hands, yeah. too, hasn't he? Yep. Yeah. You know, I tell you, it's funny. The, the very first time you wear pads, I know Jonathan's played for a few years, but when you're an actual receiver, it's, a, it's really difficult to feel like your arms get your arms up over your head yeah. with those pads. They're huge. So it takes a little to get used to. It's a little bit different than catching a baseball out in center field, right? So Brady made a huge play right there. We, we Hey, listen, we asked for the first down from those guys. We got it. Moved the sticks, and that was a really nice-looking play. I tell you, Perez can sling it, can he? Yeah. He's got a beautiful arm. He's got a big enough arm that if Brady just does a flat-out fly against somebody, he can loft it up in the air and have him run under it. Yeah, yeah. That's the type of speed those guys have. So we'll come back in a sec time out. All right, here we go. Perez flanked by Flanagan. It's going to be, uh, again, oh, he's wide open there. He throws it underneath right there to Flanagan. Flanagan cuts back. He should get out of bounds. Nice play there by Kyle. Wow, nice evasive move there. And then very smart to get out of bounds. We were just talking about the clock. They've got to be getting close here. So a couple of good-looking plays in a row by the Perez unit. First huge play to Brady, and then a nice play underneath to Flanagan, who makes an extra athletic move. He goes inside. I thought that might not have been the play, and then he got, was smart enough to get right outside and get out of bounds. Headsy play by Flanagan. There we go, right back. He's back to pass again. Oh, it's got, we got flags everywhere. I don't know if we have movements or what they did. We got movement, it looks like, on the calling it on. He, he, he pointed towards Wakefield's side. And I imagine this is on Redding, and they're going to move that back five, which they did. So some movement on the Redding side. And we're going to replay first down here. All right, here we go. First down play here. Going to be getting late in the half here. You might see Perez continue to put the ball in the air. He gets back. Nice play by, uh, oh, Nick, he has to pull it down. He was looking to throw it down the middle, but big push on that offensive line, or defensive line, I mean, and Nick didn't have enough time to get, get rid of that one. So second and ball at 17 upcoming. A little bit of a loss, about three yards there. And I'll tell you, Wakefield came in here thinking this is this is a, a great way to end our season is try to take out an undefeated team. And they played very well here in the first half. And, and, here, and at the first half, it is Redding 6, Wakefield 6. All right, here we go. Ryan back here for the second half. Foxy set to kick off. Wakefield going to get the ball back. Got to keep their eye on big number three. It's been awesome for them. Foxy kicks it away from them. That's a live ball right there. They're going to pick that thing up. Oh, boy, it looks like a big hit from behind there. My gosh. I get Coach Cassessi's down here throwing his hands up in the eye. I go, big hit from behind on someone there. It opened up a huge seam. So no flag to be seen, and it's a bit. Another big uh, 
big return right there. When you're going back, picking up a fumble, you're going to have three guys on top of them. I'm sure the coaches would like a little bit better uh, coverage right there in the kick, but I do think uh, might have been a penalty or two in there against the Rockets. Midfield right here, though, for uh, Wakefield. Rocket D's going to have to step it up. They did just that in the last series. Pitch out here, he's gonna get some room up here. It gets, oh, guys, nice play right there by Perez. Tried to cut up, he saw Big Dom and uh, Flanny were in there. Cuts outside it, Nick Perez cleans him up from the, from the free safety position. What a play by Perez. That's great defense right there. Pitch took a little bit of time to set up. You don't want to give that guy an extra step. He's clearly their best athlete, number three for Wakefield. Time the Rocket D answers, and they've been looking very good the last few series. In motion, this one's always going to be a reverse. Number two cuts up. He's got room. That's a good play by him. Very good play. I think he's supposed to sweep outside. He saw something. And uh, he saw the hole, and he turned it up and went north to south. So. Nice play by number two, because uh, if he started swinging that outside, that was going to be another loss. Takes it for about six. He's going to be third and just over five up coming. You need to stop right here. Big play right here is right, Brian. Once again, the, uh, the color commentary and the inside the analysts. It's, yeah, it's, it's, it's top tough. notch. It's incredible. Top notch. You don't get that everywhere, I'll tell you that. You don't even get paid, so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, we're, and you're working like it, right? <laughs> My God, this one's a keeper left. Nice play right Get there. Him, Big nice. push by Kajander. In comes Nortellis on the outside. And that thing went absolutely nowhere. And from midfield here, I don't know. I think they're going to have to kick it away. It's too early in the half. Yeah. But uh, you might see them try something here. But guess what? They haven't had luck on the last seven plays in a row. Take that back, it was a nice game on the play before this one. But with the pushbacks, the Rockets are making them go 15 yards for a first down every series. And they are gonna go for it. Oh, yeah, he's gonna go back and kick. Okay, so we have Nortellis back deep. High snaps the last few times. I wanna see, they, they're gonna put two guys on Di Crescenzo, no doubt about it. Let's see if it's a high snap again. Get in there, oh, very, very close. This one's a short kick. Oh, Jaheim fumbles the ball, and he gets scooped up. Oh, still on the ground, and Redding might have it. Oh, they might luck out with this one, and they, they do not have it. Wakefield picks up the ball on the fumble by Nortellis, and it is going to be inside the 10-yard line. First and goal for Wakefield. That is a killer right there. Another high snap, big push. That was one that Jaheim might have let go it was such a short kick. Hits off the top of his hands. I thought the Rockets might have lucked out on that, and they didn't. This is going to be a huge play right now. Wow, that's a mistake he can't afford to make, not when it's 6-6 right here. The defense did their job again, and we get the fumble by Nortellis. Turns into a huge opportunity here for uh, Wakefield. Let me do this, kid. Let me come around this way a second. My first and goal here for Wakefield. This one's a keeper right up the middle. He drives down and he gets stacked up immediately right there as Perez coming in to close it from free safety. Very short gain. Asking a lot of the Rocket D right here, I'll tell you. They've stepped up the last few series, though. And unfortunately, um, the turnover is costly. Turns into what was a net 50-yard gain and a first and goal for Wakefield. I saw Dami DiCrescendo getting his hand taped up earlier, too. You get, get that thing banged up, the trainer banging up, and he's right back in there. 
This one's a keeper left. He's got a little room, and he goes, oh, nice play right there. Beautiful tackle by Nortellis. They've tried two of the same plays. They get it to about the five. And it's going to be third and maybe just over five. They mark it at the six. Clear four down territory here. Rocket D would love to have a stop here. Help out that boy, Jaheim. Jaheim didn't seem uh, worse for the wear there. He came up and made a big tackle. Closed quickly. Looks like they're going the same exact play. They're just trying to stack it left or right. This time he gets pushed back. Oh, he cuts in, but he gets met again. It's a nice play. Good pursuit on the outside by DiNapoli. And Oki forces him to cut up, and he gets cleaned up. You love that if you can contain because you know those big backers. Never mind the big backers in the middle, but Di Crescenzo is all over the field. So this is actually a pushback of a yard right there. And this is fourth and seven. And this play is huge right here. Pretty unimaginative play calling right there for Wakefield. Three in a row, they just stack up a bunch of guys and ask the quarterback, I'm actually going to try a field goal here. This is interesting because I think this guy can kick it now. We have a timeout, and it's timeout Wakefield. We'll be back in a sec. Getting up for a field goal, Brian. Don't see it too often here. Freshman level. They didn't even kick for the extra point. They didn't kick for the extra point, but trying for a field goal. Look for a fake, though, right? They might try something like that. Nope, they go right up, and it's a low kick, and it doesn't work. What a stop by the Rocket D right there. They made three huge plays to stop in the first time. The fumble on the punt cost them. They get first and goal from the 10-yard line, and the Rocket D stops them. That is awesome. That's exactly what you need right here. And now it's time to go uh, push this thing. It's going to be a long one. It'll be 94 uh, yards to get down, to the, down the field here. But that kick wasn't even close, Brian. Yeah. I don't know you what know, they, they even tried. I'm not even sure what they were thinking there, but I'll tell you, I said look, some really unimaginative playing calling there. First and goal, and you go... The first time you see it, they have an empty backfield and try to have their quarterback make some plays. And that one hurts, too, because it gives them room on this. Uh, oh, he throws it. That one's going to be out of bounds. But uh, it gives them an extra 10 yards, right, from where the uh, ball was yeah. snapped. Yep. Man, that's uh, that's some suspect uh, play call right there. But let me uh, move on the other side here, Brian. We'll go in a sec. Not only do they not make the kick, they push it back seven yards. It gives the Rockets room to breathe. Yeah. Super. Wow. Second and ten after the, uh, the pass play, they're looking for um, Denapoli on the outside with a little bit of a wide throw, a little bit deep. Let's go, some of the big backs here. This one's Denapoli. He hands it to Denapoli and he cuts up. He gets stacked up, though, pretty quickly. So, nice play by number 44. He's made a couple of them in the middle. So, it's going to be third down and eighth. Here, this is a very, very big play, Brian. Who do you go to when you need a big play, right? Sometimes mm. you let number 11 keep it himself, right? Follow some big blocks, or at least give him an option, right? Yep. Read, read option, let him spin out. If he can throw it, keep it or hand it off. Wakefield coaches and Florida saying, be ready for the screen play. The motion is no tell us. Oh, it's a tough snap. This one goes right up the gut to Thornton, and, and Trevor takes it over the 25-yard uh, line, but certainly not enough for uh, for the first. I'll tell you, they did this last week. They went for it on fourth and two from their own 20. Why not uh, fourth and three from the 25, 27? This is a very, very gutsy call, but this, you know what that says? That's some real confidence in your defense right there. The defense made huge plays. And Coach Videra is saying, I can make a call. I, I trust those guys. This one's a keeper to Damari. He cuts up. He cuts back. And, and he is very, very close. If they give it to him, they're going to say no. But let's see where it is. All depends on the spot. And they say he doesn't get it. So they're going to turn the ball over here. And he's standing very, very close where he's holding it here but the referee's about a yard back from where the guy on the line is. That's incredible right there. It really is. The guy on the line 
is a is a yard farther yeah. than where the referee stand. They hand the referee, and they call, he immediately turns it and says no first down. So Rockets turn the ball over here. They take a chance, and Danny Demari comes up about half football short. And there's another short field here for Wakefield. Everyone stacked up close here. Big pitch right there. What a play by Damari. Wow, that is exactly what we've seen out of him. And their biggest, whoever the biggest and best athlete is, Damari will take him out. What a play. Pushes him back a yard. And they haven't thrown the ball all day, so that's why they're moving these guys up in the box. Yeah, that's why yeah. you're seeing guys like Nick Perez, number five, making tackles in the backfield. Incredible. He's a free safety. They've shown no signs of, of even caring to throw the ball, except that, that screen over the middle, which was successful for them. And now they might look for it again. They throw it underneath. Oh, boy! Flanagan had a chance right there to pick it off. It was a bad throw behind him, and Flaney moved in. I think the guy just got his hand in last minute. So that's two weeks in a row Flaney had a chance. That one, I, that one definitely was a play by number two to get his hand in at the end. But... Flaney had a chance to not only take that, but take it for some with nothing but green in front of him. But it's third down here. I would imagine this is clear fourth down, four down territory here inside the Rocket territory. Right, right now they're moving backwards again. He's going to swing this pass up. This is a, it looks like a double pass. Oh, and it is a double pass. He throws it up. Oh, he pulls it in. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to tell you this. That play was broken from the start. He throws it back. Nortellis is all over him. Can't make the play. He jumps out right and throws up an absolute duck. And they go up, and he just jumps up and over him and pulls that thing down. That was one of the ugliest touchdown passes I've ever seen, Brian. But guess what? The it end works. result is it works, and the Rockets are now trailing. Unbelievable. It's incredible that play it worked. There were nine things that went wrong for Wakefield on that one. They pulled it off. Wow. They spied that out early. Couldn't make the tackle. I didn't see if that was, uh, was that Nortellis on the, on the mm. right-hand side or was he in the back? I don't remember. And the defender, might have been Perez, jumped up a little bit early. Really wobbly pass. You got a big, make a big stop here. This is a very, very big play right here. Look for number three to get the ball. They do pitch it out to him. He cuts up, and he looks like he's in, and he is in. So what a turn of events right here. The Rocket D has been coming up huge, and that, that's going to turn on that big fourth down play. Yep. Coach took a chance at fourth and four, fourth and three from their own 27. It didn't work. Gave him a short field. The defense looked fantastic. And they pull off a, a trick play that should have been snuffed out eight different times. So Rockets, as it stands right now, are trailing, and they're trailing 14 to 6. Here we go. Kickoff coming to the Rockets right now. Unaccustomed to being down here in the third quarter. Big kick right there. Goes over the head of, uh, of Derek Van Horn. He's got to pick it up inside the five, and Derek takes it for couple of yards, they stop them right inside the 10-yard line, so it's going to be a very long field for the Rockets to go here. And being down eight, they got to score the touchdown and get the two just to tie this thing up. to get into the open field. They haven't been breaking off the big runs. Their D line's playing pretty well. Yeah, they're doing a 
good job against those off tackles. Uh, yeah. But still, if you're getting five a game, you can be patient. Yeah, Give yeah. yourself some room. You can be patient. This time it's just Thornton, and he falls. Damari follows him, cuts up, and Danny dives forward. And he's going to be short of the first down by maybe two yards here. It's going to be third and a yard and a half. Suns come out here now, Brian. It's beautiful. Yeah. They get you uh, eating your eating your uh, munchies over here. My little here sweet touch. <laughs> yeah. Shopping them. So I wish we could mute that mic because my ear is on burning right now. <laughs> this one's going to be a keeper, Damari. He cuts up and did. He's got room. First down and more. Did still on his feet. Oh, big play by Damari. He rips it out to the 35 yard line. So he needed a yard and he gets 15. Nice play by Dan. About five more of those. Yeah, exactly right. You know, at any given time, those guys would get a timeout called here. I think that might be on, uh, I'm not sure which side who called that timeout, but. It yeah, it might be the quarter. quarter. Yeah, I think that's exactly what it is. It's the fourth quarter, and the Rockets are trailing by eight here and, and near the end of the game. So this is a huge offensive series here. Yep. They get down and tie it, and they got to get the ball back and do it again. Yep. I think they'll actually, they actually let these games end in ties, don't they? I think so. I would tell you that for this Rocket team, they'd probably be just as disappointed as a tie with a yeah. loss. You, know? you got to score, stop, and score again. Yeah. Which they're perfectly capable of doing. There's been a couple of very fortunate plays here. That last one was, it was incredible that they actually pulled that thing off. Like I said, they snuffed it out immediately. He makes a play to evade, uh, I think it was Nortellus, throws up an absolute duck. And it gets over Perez, I believe it was Perez. You can go back and look at the tape. And the, it was incredible the guy even caught that pass. That, yeah. thing, was, that thing was spinning sideways. So first and uh, 10 here, Damari flanked by Thornton. This one's a keeper for Damari. He's got Roman. Danny cuts back. He's still on his feet. Drives up. Oh, nice play by Dan for a first down. Few people see a hole like Danny, and if he had a little bit more, if he had two more steps, he's got nothing but green in front of him. It's going to have to be the Dan show the rest of the way. Yeah, I'll tell you, <laughs> he, uh, he has instincts like a few freshman football players I've ever seen, right? And he's been doing that all since we, we watched him do that all through Pop Warner. Yep. The ability to hit a hole both offensively and defensively is something. There's no tell us in motion. This one's a sweep to Jaheim, and Jaheim's got Rome. He cuts up. Nice cut up by Jaheim, and he's outside. One guy left the block. Oh, he gets pulled down. Nice play right there. Jaheim, beautiful cut up, right? Yep. We talked about that. Instead of stringing it out, stringing it out, trying to get to the outside, he saw a hole, and Jaheim takes up about 35, 40 yards. And I will say this. Credit, I'm going to credit number 15 was downfield was Trevor Conroy, and he was set up to absolutely clean a guy that could have been a clip, and he stood up and held his ground and just stayed there. Very smart player. They could have brought that play all the way back. So nice uh, restraint by Conroy. He had a guy he could crush, but he was, would have hit him from behind. Tortellis takes it for a first and 10 just inside the 25-yard line. This is the type of movement we need. Yep. Damari's going to look to throw here. He throws it underneath. Gets about three or four yards here. I want to see. Oh, he said he didn't have it. I think that was to um, Napoli, but he said he was bobbling the ball, so it's going to be second and ten here. A little bit out in front of um, Adam for that one. All right, Rockets right here. Second and ten now. This one's Damari flanks Thornton. It's Danny, cuts up again, spins around, and gets just a couple of yards here. So it's going to be third and call it six. Maybe you get five there. It might be third and five. Third and, yeah, third and six here, maybe. You give him a good spot, so third and five. And this is uh, it's clear four down territory here for the Rockets. Come that misdirection of one of the uh, big backs, right? All right, here we go. Thornton flanking Damari. This is Danny. He's back to pass. He throws it underneath. Oh, it's intercepted. Oh, he throws it a little bit behind Tice. It's intercepted. 
And that's exactly what the Rockets did not need here. Fourth quarter, throws it. That was actually a very athletic play by the guy to intercept it. It pushed way back deep, but now the clock is going to be the Rockets' worst enemy. The Rocket defense has been great, but they got to be able to take, regardless of what happens here, three minutes off the clock here, right, with the Rockets down by eight. So huge interception. I tell you, it's a, it's a tale of, of, of two big turnovers here, right? Yep. A fumble on a punt and an interception here late, you know, in the fourth quarter when the, with the Rockets driving. So Rocket D needs to do something here. Love to get a turnover of their own here. It's going to be a handoff here. Big number three. He's got room. They pull him down. Doesn't get much. So he doesn't gain anything, but the clock keeps running. I mean, oh, he might have been out, out of bounds, which would be a huge mistake for Wakefield. They tackled him out of bounds. It's hard to see here, but at the very least, you got to stay in bounds and take the clock away from Redding here. All right, here we go. Second and call it nine. This one's right up the gut. Oh, and he gets ripped down immediately by Larry Lorenzo. So it's a big third down play here. Rockets stop him. They're definitely going to kick it away. But like you said, they take some precious uh, ticks off the clock here in the fourth quarter. here on third down. Look for that screen right across the middle that worked from the last time. This one's a handoff right at the guts. Gets met immediately. Beautiful play in there. Drove across the middle. Who else? 52. Dom D. Crescenzo in there. And it's fourth down now and they have to kick this thing. So the Rockets will get the ball back. Probably takes a minute and a half off the clock. Not as much time as they thought. So great play by the D to get it back. Shaheem Nortellis would love to feel the clean one here and, and get this thing close. Shaheem's going to make sure he can either feel this one clearly, cleanly or just let it go. Can't get cute here. We need to uh, get this ball back. You got to catch it and run. <laughs> you need to get some yardage. Yeah, for sure. Big push right here. They've had a couple of high snaps in the past. Here's another one. Very high. He, he actually needs to go that far. Oh, and it's blocked! Right there, it's blocked, and it's through the end zone. So that's a that safety. A that's a safety, and then we get the ball. Wow, that's a safety, so it makes an eight, and the Rockets get the ball back. What a play. That was Jay Kajander. I think that might have been De Crescenzo. I don't know who brought the block, but Kajander was right in there. Let me guess that 52 was right in there, but they have Pump and Kajander. Big block, and I said those high ones, they were due for that. Goes through the end zone. It's incredible, right? All right. They make it eight. It's now it's now 14 to eight, and the Rockets are going to get the ball back. Not only get the ball back, to tie it, they get a chance to come back and win. So an absolutely titanic play <laughs> down there. And I'll tell you, for, for the Rockets being down here, their defense has played tremendously today. Yeah, I mean, they've been on the field a lot, too. Oh, they have. They've been on quite a bit. So let me switch sides here, Brian. i got to get in a good spot. I'm thinking about the punts. I think you can let a punt go, too. I don't know. It looks like they're going to let them kick it off or something. They're, maybe. Kick off. they're allowed to kick off, but it's from the 20. So I think they can kick off a free kick. <laughs> Petro and Van Horn back deep. Rockets just want to be smart here, right? Yeah. Bouncing the ball, get it with great field position, and they got plenty of time on the clock yeah. here. Wow, what a play right there. And that is a huge two points. Go very 
very big kickoff here. Rockets want to field it cleanly. Excellent kick right there. And it goes to DiPietro. Just take it forward, Mike. Oh, what a run by Michael! Oh, nice run back right there by Michael DiPietro. Huge play. I love the north to south, Brian. Yep. Love it. And that's what a guy like Michael, first-year football player, is learning. in the last game of the season comes up with his biggest play of the year. Huge run back right there inside the 40. So now the Rockets, in the course of a minute, which looks like they're down eight and don't have the ball, they have the ball inside their territory, and they're within scoring distance here. This is a keeper for Damari. Cuts back up. Dan's got to hold on to it. He gets about four right there. Not wasting any time on the snap, huh? Forward. What a great, great run back by Mike DiPietro. Right. Love to see the Rockets right here. Let's keep it on the ground, right? It's working for you <laughs> until you need it otherwise. This one's Damari. Oh, nice block by Thornton. Look at Danny. Danny takes that very close to the first. What a block Trevor Thornton put in front of him. No one's getting through number 34. Okay, yeah, get some lead blocking out there for the 11 and 11 news work. They gave him the first down, so they're moving the sticks right now. Clock's going. There's plenty of time here. It's about ball protection right here for Rockets. The Rockets have a huge opportunity here to get back in this game. So it's Damari. He goes right up the gut to Thornton. Oh, what a play by Trevor. He's going to go down He's got in for the touchdown. Wow, what a play by Thornton. It goes Damari five times in a row. They give it to the big back, and Thornton rumbles for 30 yards up the middle for a touchdown. What a play, and the game is tied. Oh, boy. Now, this is an absolutely huge extra point for Cam <laughs> Ryan, right? This is ball game here, the way the Rocket defense has been playing. So, very big play right here. I say 34, but he's going to keep it right here. Damari, Damari goes in. He's going to stop. Yes, he's in. They give it up. Damari goes in for the extra point. The Rockets take the lead. Wow, what a series of events here, Brian. Four in the, in the last three minutes, this game's from the Rockets down eight to the Rockets up, up two. Wow, that is amazing. Huge play on fourth down there. A couple of big runs by Damari for first down, and then number 34 has been a stud all season for this team. Trevor Thornton rumbles in. Looked like Earl Campbell, number 34, running in there, and he wasn't going to be pulled down. And what a play. And the Rockets get the huge extra point by Damari, and they take the lead by two. Incredible series of events on this on, these, on this clock here, Brian. Yeah. James wow. down, too. We got a couple of guys uh, banged up here today. Yeah, I saw, I think I saw Ferrande go out. His shoulder was hurting, and Jaheim looks like he's uh, hurt. We're going to take a timeout here, Ryan. All right, here we go. Foxy set to kick off, and the Rockets take the lead for the first time of the game after an incredible three minutes of football. Foxy right here. It's a nice kick right there. He gets out, gets picked up. Right, and he runs right up the gut. So nice play by that, by the uh, guy to field it cleanly and run it right to the 45. And the Rocket defense is going to be asked yet again. And to your point, Brian, they have been on the field a ton today. And they've actually come up very, very strong. With the 16 14, with right? The exception of the very first uh, play, Brian, the very first series when they had a very short field, like a 25 yard field. Yeah. They went in for the easy touchdown. This Rocket defense has been awesome. But I'll tell you, Wakefield's uh, got the ball when trying to get a time check. Three minutes. Nice. Beautiful. Three minutes, 12 seconds left in the game. Joe Dwyer doing it for us down there. This one's a handoff right here. Oh, they're gonna, he gets outside here. Oh, what a play! Pulls him down, and that's... Oh, is that Nortellis? Jaheim Nortellis just hurt himself. He's lying down in the back of the field. Was that, was that Nortellis? Yeah, it was. Oh, my gosh. Jaheim was shaken up. In the very first play, he takes their number one player and pushes him back 10 yards. That is huge. What the Rockets need to look for here is look for these guys to come back for the play that worked for them, that sort of dump over the middle. Second and 20, right? Three minutes to go. I don't see how you don't, how you can't go for it, right, on everything here. 
four down territory. This one, he is back to pass. He throws it underneath. He's wide open. Oh, he drops the ball. Oh, number 85 is wide open. He saw Danny Damari closing on him. He drops the ball, and Damari crushes him. But that was, I tell you, that was just being fortunate. He actually would have been short of the first down. That's how far away they are. But a well set up play and not tremendously well defended right there. Those are the types of plays they cannot give up. This is a third and long here. They're going to be looking to pass again. Big plays here by the Rockets. I want to push by this five, by this front, front four. It's a throw right here. It's up in the air. And it's a, oh, and it's batted down. Nice play right there by Denapoli. The clock will stop, so it's still going to be maybe just under three minutes here. But it's fourth down right here. Huge play right here. They need a first down here. The Rockets are going to take over, and they can run the clock down, right? Yep. This play... How many, how many fourth and 21s do you have in your bag of freshman football? Yeah. The biggest thing is execution. We saw that halfback option that was one of the ugliest plays I've ever seen convert for a touchdown here. So I'd love to see a big, let's get a big push from the line here. A little confusion here by uh, Wakefield. Got three guys right. He's back to pass. Big push by, oh, he's right there. Oh, nice play by the to knock it down. Wow, he had to get rid of it because Di Crescenza was going to murder him up the middle. He throws it across. There's a beautifully thrown pass, and Nortellis knocks it down. So what a play by Jaheim. I'm going to tell you this. Jaheim's kicking himself earlier about that drop on the punt, and he has made three spectacular plays today, including that last one and the big, huge run on fourth down. The Rockets take over here, and it's, it's not a whole lot, a lot of time on the clock here. Let's do ground and pound here and run the clock out. Got to hold on to the ball. This is Damari Keeper. Oh, he's got room outside. And then he cuts up. Takes it close to a first down. Wow, you don't have an answer for Damari. You just don't have one. Big first down there. Looks like it's going to be a timeout here. Two minute warning. Two minute warning. That's exactly what it is. So the Rockets 16 14 with the ball. Only a colossal error would say that this game is not in the Rockets' hand right here. So ball protection is key right here, right? Yep. Their side of the ball. Don't, don't be surprised if you see Thornton or Damari bust one. Keeper right there for Damari. He gets outside. Takes it outside. Oh, he should have stayed in. Is right, right? Going to stay in and run the clock out. Danny's, uh, Danny's thinking about the opposite there. But Dan stays in and goes down to one knee. The clock keeps running. Who cares, though? First down, right? Yep. So they'll tell him that when he says, ah, I'll get you next time, coach. And you see him say, ah, tell him to stay in bounds. That's fine. First down for Dan. And Dan will tell him and all his teammates, stay in bounds here. The clock's running. Wow, what a game. Five minutes ago, Brian, we're worried about the undefeated Rockets going down. Right now, we're trying to hold on to the ball in the victory. This one goes to Thornton. Fine. He tries for more. Just go down, Trev. That's all right, buddy. Right? You don't have to drive for the extra. We talked about that, right? Yep. Clock's running. They have to call timeout, and, and Wakefield does. And I don't think they have any more here. So they call timeout. Coach Fedair is going to say, hold on to the ball. Keep it in bounds. Another first down, and this game's going to be over. What a game, though, huh, Brian? Yeah, good Started game. Started out very slow. The last two have been the best. Wow. It's been, good. it's been good stuff, I'll tell you. The Rocket defense today, they were the story of the day because they were they, the pressure was put on those guys early. And with the exception of that very first series, they have been unbelievable. I'd love to know. I don't know if it was Kajander who came across and made that block punt. Yeah, yeah. I'd love to see it on tape. It could very well have been Di Crescenzo. That would shock no one. But they had a huge push to block that punt and get a safety. And those two points were the difference right there for the Rockets going up 16-14. This one's a keeper, Damari. Cuts up, content to go down, fine. Don't get anyone hurt. The 
as another timeout. So they call two timeouts in a row and has to be their end. I knew I thought they called one earlier. So they stopped the clock. Maybe a minute and a half left here. Big play right here because a first down is gonna uh first down is gonna end this game, Brian. Yep. Right? You hate to give him the ball with a chance here. I'm hoping Coach uh, Federa puts the pedal to the metal here. So yeah. We want the first down. Don't have to get cute. Don't have to throw the ball. How about an off tackle to, uh, to our boy Thornton? Yeah. Another six points wouldn't hurt. Not at all. Right? Even a first down will do it. But it's third down here. You know what? Clear four down territory, too. Oh, Why yeah. Why not? <laughs> Why not? Yep. Run the clock down. Run, run. Big play right here. Thornton flanking Damari. Someone doesn't have the right pad. Damari's got blood on his leg. Oh boy, the Damari's got. If they have a cut in your leg, they have to wrap it up and they put in uh, Perez. Let's hope they have. Nicky passes it right off to uh, Thornton here. He goes back to pass on this play, throws it underneath to Thornton. And he gets stacked up. And there's a flag too. It looks like it might be holding. I'm not sure. It is holding on Redding. It's going to push it back, so it's going to make it third and 18. That play was snuffed out. They tried that screen across the middle. How about Perez? He comes in. He doesn't even know he's going in because Damari's got a cut on his leg. they got to get wrapped up for him to get back out there. And they have him throwing the pass on the first one. Hey, what's the play? You know? What did they do there? They threw a flag, and they, oh, they, oh, they uh, declined it, it looks like. So they decline the play. Big Fleming comes in now, and Damari's going to go back in with the play. So huge fourth down play here, right? Rockets would love to get a first down and end this game, not give uh, Wakefield a chance with the ball, even though they're deep. They run right up. Delay game. Uh, they get the delay <laughs> game, so it's going to move it back five. Makes it fourth and ten here. They got to be quicker on the sideline there, right? He might try to do the same play here, but very, very big play here. I'm sure, if the Rockets had any timeouts, if you do, one, well, might take one and call a play here. Big fourth down play here. This one's going to be Damari keeper. Goes up. Oh, Danny's still on his feet. He drives it. It's not going to be a first down. They're going to turn the ball over here, but the clock is running. Don't like to give the guy, uh, I mean, it's a huge, huge ask right here for Wakefield. Rocket D's come up big all day, but had a crazy play turn into a uh, touchdown before. Nothing behind you. Exactly right. I want to get that line pushing in a big way here. He's back to pass. Throws it up underneath. Oh, it's going to be. Oh, he pulls it down. Nice play. I thought Danny DeMario was going to go in there. They have to hustle. The clock's running here. So, first, it's like a second and three here. Clock's running. DeMario almost came back to pick that one up. He throws it underneath. Oh, boy. Throws it behind him and stops. Good looking play. Clock's going to stop there. We'll see if we can get a time check, Ryan. Go pouring the D right here. Look for some trickery here. They gotta try anything for a big play. He goes back here, he swings it out. He's got the pass and he gets out of bounds. He stopped the clock with a very short game. I don't even know if that's a first down. It might be fourth down here. Looks like fourth and one, fourth and two. Fourth and one, and you don't want to run it, right? This is a huge play. You run it and you stop him. Oki helping out Domi with his helmet. Big play here. Much bigger than you might think, right? Mm -hmm. You can't you can't stop the you, you can't run the ball here. The clock's running, right? You get your first down. They're gonna have to pass. The Rockets stop it. 
Could be it. Here we go. He goes back to pass. Throws across the middle. He's open. Nice move right there. Oh, and he gets tackled. So they do get the first down. Nortellis is there. Clock's going to be running here. Time to get back. Nothing. Nothing. Uh, and he slams the ball down to stop the clock here. Let's see what we got left on the, on the clock. Got to be seconds left, right? I think I heard him say like 12 or something. 12 seconds? Maybe. Stop the clock here, Ryan. Look for some trickery. The Rocket linebackers are playing way back here. Looks like he's got it. He's got some pressure here. He throws it very long. It's sort of a duck. Oh, he gets intercepted by Nortellis. And he takes it out of bounds. Jaheim Nortellis steals it right there. Grabs it inbounds, takes it out of bounds, and the Rockets are going to win it. And that's the ball game right there. Wow, what a season for the Reading Freshman Rockets. And this one was a nail biter early, Brian. Yeah, it was a good game. Very, very good game. And credit Wakefield, right? That was a team that looked uh, that improved dramatically through the year, as yeah. did the Rockets. And the Rockets, we said it was it was a bit, it was a series of three minutes in the fourth quarter that changed everything. Yeah. Block punt of the, that goes for the safety, and then we rush it in there. And a uh, big play by Thornton on the touchdown. And then they run in Damari with the extra point. And the Rockets hold on 16 to 14 to stay undefeated and keep themselves undefeated to finish the season. 9 and 0 for the Reading Freshman Rockets. And I'll tell you, after that first week of practice, would you have uh, would you have guessed that? No. No, no. That's a team that pulled together and got better every single week, guys. Uh, the defense was tremendous today. Huge plays as usual by 34, Thornton, 22, Nortellis. Dom DiCrescenzo, 52, has been an animal all year in the middle. Tremendous. Nick Perez makes great plays. And the number one guy who's made huge plays all year long, number 11, Danny Damari. He is a superstar in this team. And let's, let's keep the film on the Rockets here, guys, because they're about to go crazy right here. We'll let these guys have their fun. ready for these guys to explode. It's mm. happening. You're going to have a nice little pizza party, I heard. I heard. I heard the pizza party. Here's the thing. I know for a fact that Dom D. Crescenzo can eat like four pizzas by himself. So well, is the camera crew invited? Oh, I think so. The camera crew better be invited. <laughs> better be, you better let me know. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> I think that's our only pay of the year, Brian. That's all right. They might give us a, a slice hey, of pizza or two. We'll I'll take, take a it. couple of slices. We'll take it. A couple of slices would be good. Tell you, Brian, great job this year. As usual, it was yeah, a it was a good class. time. Yeah. I want to thank Reading uh, Cable Television for letting us act like boys again, like we do every year. I'm very happy that my work schedule worked out to make these things. Here's the boys here. Yeah, this may be the end of it too, because I don't know if we're going to do JV. You That's know? That's right. Who knows? It, you never it, know. it all depends on what the contract is, Brian. <laughs> we, we'll have an off-season contract negotiation. If they sweeten the pot a little bit, maybe we'll be around. All right, sounds good, man. Let's keep it focused on the team here, and uh, I want to see these guys jumping around a little bit. They might be pulling the team together for a picture. Coaches step out, and he lets, he lets the boys do it. Yeah. All right, that's it. There We're we done. There go, boys. Hey, Brian. Until thanks, next buddy. year. Until next year. Peace. Reading Rockets, 9-0, undefeated season. Beautiful. See you later.